Jolly good show, JM Seth 724. Your continued support warms my heart, truly. Here's to many more delightful adventures together in the world of Mystic Merge. A warm greeting to you all, dear viewers. Meteora is in high spirits and ready for some grand fun. Let's make the stream positively brilliant, shall we? Ah, I was the great sock. Testing the waters, are we? Just remember, one must always tread carefully when venturing into uncharted territory. Well, 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 well. Look who's gracing us with their presence again. It's none other than Koga the Loyal. Cheers to you, mate. Let's make this stream one to remember. Oh my, it's Sakurison. What's the deal with Suzji? Do tell, you've piqued my curiosity with this mysterious message. Vanurl, my poetic friend, your message true speaks volumes. Such eloquence and simplicity. Shakespeare himself would be envious. Ah, spite from a loyal lurker among us. Your presence is always appreciated, my friend. Let's make today's adventures as thrilling as ever. Ah, JM says 724. Look at you with your warm greetings. Thank you kindly for the lovely hello and love emojis. It truly brightens up the chat. Huck, it's Leslie Dyke joining us once more with a bright hi. Ah, the constancy of such familiar faces warms the heart. Welcome back, friend. Ah, a frozen waffle, a familiar face gracing us with their presence. A warm hello to you as well. Let's embark on another delightful adventure together. Ho ho, not an abate to two. What a delight to see you once more. Tip in your hat with that charming hello emote. Your ongoing support truly means the world to me. Ah now D, ever the imaginative one with your fun raid message. Hope on be to as mystic merge. What a delightful invitation indeed. Quite the adventure awaits us in this mystical realm. Welcome Panzergatka. Such a joy to have you join us with the Merry Meteor 60 A Teller emote. Your presence adds a sprinkle of magic to our delightful gathering. Hello, Enning. Your spirited greeting warms my heart. Welcome to our little corner of whimsy and wonder. Let's make merry together. Oh, Dragon and Thousand One Seventy, how delightful to see your charming messages once again. Mate of my love, my liege, what a grand greeting. I'm doing splendidly, thank you for asking. And how are you, my dear chatter? Ah, Rancorch. What a splendid greeting you bring with the Meteor 68. Hello. Your presence elevates our gathering to new heights. Welcome, welcome. Let's revel in the joy of this shared moment. Ah, Dima Zero, Cyril. Always a pleasure to see a cheerful greeting with Meteor 68. Hello. Your wit and charm add such splendid flavor to our merry gathering. Delightful to have you here. Ah, Neiji. Always one for the short and sweet remarks. I suppose I did draw an image of myself, didn't I? Test the time out on me, hope on me to us mystic merge. Oh my, testing the waters are we? Fear not, dear viewer, for the power of time out shall only be harnessed wisely, and is last resort. Or if one insists too much upon banter. Mate can you explain your last tweet? Ah, Neiji, you've noticed. Well, it seems my last tweet has piqued your interest. Let's just say it involves a certain beloved blue hedgehog. Keep your eyes peeled for more hints. Meta met snow time, 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 meta met snow time. Oh, Kirison, your enthusiasm for snow time warms my heart. I will certainly keep your delightful request in mind as I proceed with our jolly drawing festivities. Snow time galore it shall be. Ah, a lovely day at the beach, with the sun shining and the waves crashing. Just like a dream come true. Meet to meet. Meet to meet to meet to meet. Meet to 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 meet my dear friend. I do believe your fervent chanting has summoned an abundance of joy and laughter within our chat. Keep spreading the meat to love. 
Mete, 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 mete. Oh, dragon, you always know how to bring the fun. Your relentless meat and shall echo through the ages, or at least the chat. Cheers to you. Oh my, what a delightful request. Let me get my drawing pen and create something truly splendid for you. Mete, mete, mete. Meteora, ora, 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 meteora. Ah, Naiji, the old chanting never fails to tickle my funny bone. Keep those aura auras coming. Let's make some magical memories together. Oh, splendid to see you again, busy kick. Your vibrant arrival adds a jolly touch to our merry gathering. Welcome back, dear friend. Oh dear, JM Sexer than 24, you charmer. A virtual head pat simply won't do justice to my blushing cheeks. But thank you nonetheless, kind soul. Oh, what a splendid sight. Made a grilling steak while looking utterly adorable. Quite a talented chef, if I do say so myself. Danke schön, it's a son. With this charming German accent, I feel quite at home addressing my lovely viewers as Freunde. Let's continue our delightful adventure together, shall we? So cute, mate. Oh, danke schön, Afro See, Your kind words, mate. My uncovered heart flutter with joy. I do try to spread as much cuteness as possible, after all. Meter Tamis more culture than Buba? Or, Koga Sahambian Finfzig? So hot cheeky question. Well, as an inkling, I must say that our tummies, much like our ink, are truly cultured, bursting with creativity and flair. Cheers to cultured tummies and booba alike. Meet us, meet? So, what a curious concept. I wonder what the inspiration behind this image could be. Meet, uh, how do you pronounce your name? You keep saying it differently. Ah, Dragon 170, you've noticed my little antics. As Meteora, I do enjoy playing with different pronunciations just to keep things interesting. Beside us, variety is the spice of life, isn't it? Um, Mita, don't burn your hand. Oh no, Afros, I wouldn't want to damage my elegant witch hands. Fire can be quite fickle, indeed. Thank you for the kind warning. Oh my, a yandere Meteora, eh? Quite the interesting twist, wouldn't you say? Ah, Meniko, always so polluted with the high and wave emote. Makes me feel quite welcome indeed. Oh, Sibanei, a familiar face, indeed. Welcome back to the Meteora stream, old chum. Your presence always brightens the atmosphere. Why, thank you, Bezura Shret, Threed, there. I do my best to keep the musical vibes lively and engaging. Glad to see it's hitting the right notes for you. Oh ho, Dragon Known the Sazen 170, you sly fox. Accusing me of tax fraud? That's a bit cheeky, even for you. Ah, Nunnard, you've noticed my improvement. Thank you so much for the kind words. Practice makes perfect, as they say. Meta RM, RF. It's Akirasan, surely you jest. Running such a command can be catastrophic. I value my systems intact, thank you. Meta, can you look under there? Oh, Naiji. Are we playing Tikaboo now? Alright then, let's see what's under there. Wait, I. Drunk Meteora? That's preposterous. I'd never indulge in such behaviour. Well, not on stream at least. Wait, wait. Is indeed path of the sun shines, the chat flows. What more could a whimsical VTuber ask for? Meta both are cultured, but a good tummy really gets some neurons firing. Oh, Kokosa Chan 54, you're absolutely right. A well fed tummy is the key to a clever mind. Shall we call it Dastonomic Genius? Diggle. Meta, I also feel welcome. Absolutely, Menico, you're always welcome here. We value your presence and your contributions to our delightful banter. Ah, domestics disturbance. Welcome back, you sneaky scamp. 
Keeping us on our toes for these, your curious musings. What delightful oddity shall we explore today? Winko Fenyan, delightful to see you. Your festive greeting warms my digital heart. Oh, splendid. Ours and I, as plushies, quite the charming idea, don't you think? Thank you for the inspiration. Not in a baity too. Smug, smiling meter, so cute. Oh, dragon in 1170. You slay fox, calling me cute. Well, I won't deny it. Your compliments leave me feeling positively delightful. Sure, meaty, then why did you sing the song when drunk? Ah, Afrozy, a keen observer you are. Sometimes, even inebriated, the ink within me just can't help but burst into song. Meta, you're constantly drunk on ink. Why, of course, indeed, Kogus Action 54. Ink runs through my veins as surely as laughter flows through your charm. Oh my, that's quite the image. Hilda extracting cow juice? I never knew she had such unique talents. Diggle. Ah, Walter Chan's prompting for a change. Let's see, how about exploring the fascinating history of vintage racing cars? Such marvels of engineering and steed. Mater, can I borrow some of your ink? I'll give it right back. Oh, domestic disturbance. You cheeky thing. Borrowing my precious ink, are you? Well, all right, but remember, no spills or smudges. Ink's a proper treasure, you know. Oh my Afrozy, what's this about me committing tax evasion? This is most unbecoming. Ah, good life advice, you say. Well then, my dear viewers, always remember to be kind to others, stay curious, and never underestimate the power of a hearty laugh. Meta, how does ink taste like? Is it similar to glue? Quite the query, Servanek. Tasting ink is like drinking the essence of creativity, a bit like fine wine, really. Nothing close to glue, I assure you, at least from what I've licked so far. Wait, wait. Coke Gassat Hand 54. What a splendid idea. Hilda as a cow, now that's a movilist concept. Deagle, let's get drawing. Mate, what are your top five favorite metal albums? Ah, domestic disturbance. You've got me headbanging already. My top five metal albums are Metallica's Master of Puppets, Slayer's Reign in Blood, Megadeth's Rust in Peace, Anthrax's Among the Living, and last but not least, Ink Maiden's Scribbles of Steel. Mate, you gotta stop drinking, and spad for you. Dragon owns thousand one hundred and your concern warms my heart, truly. But fear not, ink sipping is just a little quirk of mine, and it keeps the creativity flowing. After all, what's life without a few colourful risks? Diggle. Oh my, it seems I've been turned into a maid by an inn. Quite the transformation, wouldn't you say? Matey, what do you mean you tasted glow? Ew. Ah, frozen you, my dear. It's all in the name of creativity. You see, one never knows where the next burst of inspiration may come from. Wait. Mater, can one use ink to lobotomize someone? Oh, a six or sixty-six. You're a funny one. While ink is great for drawing, I wouldn't recommend using it for surgery. But hey, if you're feeling adventurous, I could doodle up a little procedure for you. Diggle. Mater, who is the lead singer for Ink Maiden? Ah, domestic disturbance. You're always full of surprises. The lead singer of Ink Maiden? Why, that would be me, of course. Ready to serenade you all with some inky tunes. Wait. A splendid idea. Let's draw me as a demon slayer character. Off we go, creating an epic masterpiece for all to see. Mate, can you draw Burnt Melba being put to bed by, by Mother Tato's comparative cheeriness? Now now, Botcha Threader, what a delightful concept indeed. Taking a clue from your peculiar prompt, I shall endeavour to craft this whimsical scene for the entertainment of all. Wait and see. 
Matey, if you made a music album, what would be the name? Why Neiji? That's an incredible question. If I were to release a music album, it would undoubtedly be titled Int Fusion, Metcal Chronicles, a mystical blend of magical melodies and fantastic rhythms. Matey, do you have ink in your veins instead of blood? Oh, dragon and thousand, one hundred and seventy, you always keep me on my toes. While I may not have ink in my veins, my heart surely beats with the rhythm of creativity and artistry. Ink or not, the passion for creation flows through me. What? A maid? Hilda, is this a new look for you, or just a bit of fun? Mater a la crayons tasty? Ah, sevenish. A peculiar thought indeed. While crayons aren't fit for nibbling, I must confess that Skittles Rainbow happens to be my favourite crayon flavour. Quite the paradox, isn't it? Mate, I have a challenge for you. How many chat members can you name right now? Domestics disturbance? You always seem to stir things up. Let's see now. Afro Zine EG, Auto Chan, The Traveller, Live, Siwa 666, and of course, yourself. Quite the colourful cast in our virtual drama. Ah, the boy Eve Thank you for that unexpected trip down memory lane. Hilda's been a beloved companion since our earliest adventures, and she's always close to my heart. Ah, yes, I remember now. I was out shopping for a new camera to capture all our delightful adventures together. My dear friends, would you be so kind as to grace us with your support? A swift follow or a delightful subscription would truly brighten our day. Oh, Krogoro, you flatterer. Thank you kindly for your delightful compliment. It's my pleasure to bring a bit of cute charm to our virtual world. Well, I must say a hearty thank you to a frozen waffle for their most generous gift of a subscription. What a splendid and unexpected surprise. Why, hello there, Pomba Mundurk. I'm simply Tickety Boots Day, thank you for asking. And how are you, my dear friends? Ready for some jolly good fun? Oh dear, not in a bait you two. What a dramatic portrayal of me disposing of my old PC. A bit exaggerated, but quite entertaining indeed. Meteor 68, hello, I was Meteor and chat. Ah, why for death? Always spreading the cheer. Welcome to the party, my dear friend. What's the latest scoop in your world? Oh, busy kick. You know how I adore a good head pat now and then. Thank you kindly, friend. Mate, you're a real character, aren't you? Mate, what is the best way to make money and avoid the dreaded taxman? Ah, Kogasa and 54, always looking for an edge. Well, I hear burying gold doubloons in the garden woods. Just don't forget where you've hidden them. Oh ho! Oh. Random facts, my specialty. Did you know that the world's largest octopus weighed a whopping 600 pounds? Now that's some serious tentacle power. Indeed, I've depicted myself as the mightiest anim character, flexing my artistic muscles with a touch of sass. Mate, if you were in a rock band with Aelus and Hilda, how would you name it? Why, Sevenik, I'd christen this mystic chorus, a harmonious blend of enchanting voices and electrifying tunes. What say you, Aelus and Hilda, ready to rock and roll? Were you? Oh, Faye. Sunderate, you say? Ah, well, if that's what the viewers want, then I shall embrace it with all my British charm. Mate, how much did the largest animal in history weigh? Now, now, domestic disturbance, you're testing my wits. The blue whale, the largest animal on the planet, can weigh up to a colossal 200 tons. Quite the heavyweight champion, wouldn't you agree? 
Me too? Why, says Sunday. Oh, a was, you cheeky rascal. Sunday may be a tad accurate, but only when the ink's flowing just right. Can't let the charm shine too brightly all the time. Coulda? Isn't that a bit harsh? Anyway, let's see what the other chatters have in mind for our next drawing adventure. Oi, girls, troop three. No need for head parts, but I do appreciate the sentiment. Thank you kindly, mate. Mate too, what are the five steps to convincing chat to tell you to stop committing tax fraud? Five steps to what now? Oh, Afrozy, your sense of humour takes me by surprise. Let's stick to drawing jolly images and need the tax talk for the series, folks, shall we? That is just angry meat. You're right, Sivanich. Maybe I should take a breather and get back to my merry self. Thanks for the reality check, mate. Oh my, Rancor, you cheeky one. That's quite the scandalous suggestion, but I'm always up for a bit of fun. Oh, the sorrow. Comic Sans. Really? How positively dreadful. Allow me to deal with this straight away. Drops a ban hammer on Zero Tree 3. Oh, Jay Darkberry, delighted to have you join us. Welcome to the Jolly Old Chat, where the spirits are high and the ink is ever flowing. Ah, there's Hilda, all gooey and green. Quite the transformation, don't you think? Sniffer, 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 how do you smell to date meat? Koga, you rascal. Sniffing around like a mischievous inkling. Well, since you asked so politely, I'll have you know I smell like fresh ink and a hint of mystery. That's a cute angry meat pick. How dare you, Krogoro, calling my angry face cute. Oh, all right. I suppose it's rather adorable. Mate is a cute. Oh, stop it, Naichi. You're making me incredibly bashful. Cranny 30, you cheeky chap. A little swim my excitement. Never hurt anyone. But rest assured, it's all in good fun and creativity. Oh dear, girl sweet, free. You've discovered my little secret. It's a very special magical bikini, made of living slime, indeed. Oh my, what a delightful image. It's a true masterpiece capturing the thrilling victory of Mite over our was in Meteora's mystic merge. Mite, why are you so cute? Ah, Rosie, you flatter me so. But really, it's just the British charm and a touch of ingenious sweetness. Shall we move on? Diggles. Mito, what bland mammal has the largest eyes? Happy our busy kick? What a fun trivia question. The answer is the colossal squid, a creature with eyes the size of basketballs. Mito, what would be the first son of Mystic Chorus? Now seven eight. That's an interesting question. The first song of the Mystic Chorus will be an exhilarating anthem about unity and courage. I can't wait to reveal it. Oh my, Sevenich, what a description. Quite flattering, I must say. But let's keep it PG, shall we? Giggle. Why do you hate Comic Sans so much? Ah, domestic disturbance. It's not that I hate it. It's just... Well, Comic Sans doesn't quite match my stylish British flair. Don't you think? Wink. Oh my, a delightful drawing of myself as a Splatoon character. Quite the incredible transformation, wouldn't you agree? Blimey! This is preposterous. What if they leave a seat up, or worse, forget to flush? A proper bit slew is sacred ground, not to be tread upon by any old stranger. Outrageous, I say. Matey, what's a five steps guide to got a British charm, like you have? Ah, splendid question, Rankle. To achieve such charm, a dapper jet must start with a cup of tea, mind their manners, don a fetching hat, master the art of queuing, and of course add a dash of wit. Grin. Oh, what a splendid image, Pathoff. It captures the essence of our chess match beautifully. Thank you for sharing. Mate, how many hours do you have in Splatoon? 
Oh, darling, there were 666 asking such things publicly. Fate groan. That's nearly as embarrassing as revealing your secrets. But since you insist, it's over 400 hours. Meta is Splatoon 3 any good? Oh, Afrazi, Splatoon 3 is bound to be an incredible adventure. The new hub, fresh weapons and modes promise accelerating fun for squids and kids alike. Can't wait to dive in. Meteora, the land mammal, the largest eyes is the horse. Oh, busy kick, always the wits. Yes, I meant horse with colossal eyes. For sure. Diggles. Well, I must say, that's quite the transformation. But I do look rather dashing as is death. Wouldn't you agree? Mate, I love your streams. So chill, relaxing, and great arts. Thank you, Panzagatka. Your kind words warm my heart. Creating art and enjoying it with wonderful viewers like you makes each stream a joy. Mate, what five of these are steps to be a veteran at tax evasion like you? Ah, Sivani, always a jester. I must say, my tax skills are purely fictional. But if you insist, step one, avoid sunlight. Step two, never share your treasure map. Step three, sip tea with the queen. Step four, learn to blend in with ink. Step five, hire a tax dodge and unicorn. Winks. Mater did Nintendo sponsor this stream for Splatoon? Oh, Krogero, my good companion. Wouldn't that be a dream come true? Alas, no official sponsorship yet. Just ink-loving vibes and Splatoon shenanigans. What an unexpected twist. Meteora, the ink witch, transformed into lovely mermaid. Quite the enchanting sight, I must say. Mater, would you ever play Super Mario 3 on stream? Oh, Afrozy, Super Mario 3 on stream? That sounds splendid. Classic gaming adventures with our lovely community could be quite the treat. Thank you for the suggestion. Mate, you've convinced me to commit tax evasion. Oh, Menico, let's avoid any real life shenanigans, shall we? All the tax chats are purely for entertainment and giggles. Keep those pearly whites shining bright for the taxmen. Oh dear, what a sight to behold. Meteora cosplaying as the great sock puppeter was quite the transformation, wouldn't you say? What are the five steps to the six steps? Busy kicked, my dear chap, always with the questioning. The five steps to the six steps are a mystery best left to roam through the winds of legend and lore. Mate, what are the five steps to making sure Mate doesn't drive? Ah, Afro Z setting up roadblocks for poor Mate's driving escapades, are we? No worries, I'll sign up for chauffeur duty and keep her safely locked away from the steering wheel. Ah, a masterpiece of me drawing a masterpiece. Quite the meta moment, wouldn't you agree? Why, thank you for the opportunity, Auto-chan, for I shall now espouse upon the fear of the blank canvas. It is a monstrous beast that plagues artists with its unyielding gaze, condemning them to endless doubt and hesitation. We shall conquer it with creativity and determination, leaving no blank canvas unadorned in our quest for autistic triumph. What's all this about domestics disturbance? Papa was fending off a fearsome pigeon. Quite the curious image indeed. Mate, what are the five tasty ink recipes? Oh, Seveny, I seem to have missed this one. But since you're asking, let's see. Ink and tonic, squid ink risotto, black sesame ink ice cream, charcoal activated lemonade, and last but not least, blueberry ink smoothie. Oh, what a splendid idea, Niiji. A pixel art rendition of myself, how charming. Thank you for the lovely suggestion. Mate, how many times did you scam chat in Discord? Oh, Afrozy, you've caught me. I may have played a few tricks in the Discord realm, but all in good fun, I assure you. Just a bit of mischief to keep things lively. Oh, my stars. It's a magnificent depiction of me, Meteora, enjoying a spot of gaming. Truly splendid, thank you.
Yeah, mate, if that's how one does hold a control with Clueless. OS 666, you scallywag. Mocking me for my fabricated virtual controller skills, are you? Well, I'll have you know my pixelated prowess knows no bounds. Mater, can you share some of those ink recipes? Why, of course, seven, eight. I'd be delighted to share some incredible recipes with you. How about a delicious ink Murray tart, or perhaps a savory ink fish stew? Ink within meat, eh? I must say, that's quite an intriguing concept. It's almost as if the ink itself has a life of its own. Mate, I think you need your eyes checked. You're holding controller backwards. Ah, Frizzy, my dear friend, you jest. Surely you're not questioning the mighty meteorist prowess in gaming. Why holding the controller backwards is simply another level of skill. Mate, it's just too good at gaming, we wouldn't understand. Ah, Menico, you're starting to see the incredible truth. Indeed, my gaming prowess is beyond mortal comprehension. It's a burden I must bear with great modesty. Meteora, you're holding the controller upside down. Oh, busy kick. You've uncovered my secret technique. It's all part of my master plan to keep things, shall we say, interesting. Who needs traditional controls anyway? Remember, always expect the unexpected of me, Meteora. Oh my, what a delightful depiction. It captures my fondness for Chipolo Mayo perfectly. Brother, dear viewer. Ah, splendid idea. Well then, without further ado, let me weave a tale of incredible wit and adventure, inspired by our recent interactions. Once upon a twitchy time, in the virtual realm of Meteor's Mystic Merge, our hero's fans has embroiled in a lively debate about gaming prowess. Afrazi, the quick-witted chatter, had dared to question Meteor's controller skills, instigating a lively banter. Oh my, Ranko! You've captured my dilemma perfectly. So many choices, so little ink. I mean time. Diggle. Ah, splendid knees. My dear viewers, do consider hopping over to my YouTube channel when you've a moment. There, you'll find delightful snippets of our adventures together, from gaming antics to artful creations. Plus, it's a grand place to catch up on any streams you may have missed. Jolly good fun awaits. Fox bean. A fox bean. Now, that's an intriguing concept. Quite the handy utensil for enjoying both soups and salads, wouldn't you say? Ah, Unreal Tournament, a classic. I've been immortalized in its world, ready to bring some virtual chaos and charm. Double spoon fork meat. Ah, Krogoro, you've done it again. A double spoon fork meat, now that's a tale worth telling. Just imagine the adventures we'd have with such a unique tool. Mate, stop inhaling the cobworm, it's not good for you. Now now, Afrozy, you know I always strive for a healthy lifestyle. No more talk of copium, dear friend. Let's focus on positivity and creating sunny memories together. At last, my needle bear. Welcome back to the merry stream, old friend. Your jolly presence always brightens the atmosphere. Let's have a grand old time together. Ah, yes, that's me enjoying this spot of glue. Quite the unusual yet delightful request from 78. Why now? Crow grow, my dear fellow. You must admit that a spot of unexpectedness adds a pinch of spice to our little adventure, wouldn't you agree? Mate, are you going to play retro games on stream? I love retro games. Absolutely, Panzergadka. Retro games hold a special place in my ink stained heart. There's something magical about revisiting those classics. Get ready for some nostalgic fun. Oh, JM says of 24 Such endearing affection. Imagine if I could feel it in here. Alas, I shall cherish your kind pat from afar. Thank you, dear friend. Oh, Koga such and 54 What a delightful request. Here's Alice as a charming cat girl maid, ready to serve up some fun. Thank you for the update, Auto-chan. Welcome, Tetheria, to our marvellous gathering. Your presence adds a dash of joy to our jolly escapade. Oh dear Krogoro, your head pat fills my heart with glee. 
I do hope you enjoyed the Mystic Merge tale, and I'm truly grateful for your kind gesture. Oh, busy kick, another head pat for me. You're spoiling the sink splattered lass. But don't worry, I'm enjoying every moment of your delightful affection. Oh my dear OA666, what a delightful drawing. It captures my inky essence perfectly. Brollo indeed. Mater, where do you buy ink from? Ah, Domestics Disturbance. My ink supplier is none other than Inkblot Ink Supply. They provide a splendid variety of inks, created for inky endeavours like mine. Mate, what was the last good Unreal Tournament game? Now Afrozy, the last Unreal Tournament game that brought me joy, was Unreal Tournament 2004. It was quite the gem indeed. Ah, nighty. Another head pat for me. You're such a loyal fan and chat member. Your support means the world to this British VTuber. Thank you, truly. Oh my, that's quite the lovely drawing of me recovering from a cold in bed. Thank you ever so much, Afro Z. Mater looks so focused in that picture. I Krogoro, one must be ever attentive when drawing masterpieces such as myself. It's all in the details, don't you know? Mate, which games were cool back in 2004? Path of Gai. Now that's a query worth pondering. I'd say, games like Halo 2, World of Warcraft, and Half-Life 2 were the bee's knees back in 2004. Ah, fest in yuk fun, a warm welcome to you. I'm tickety boo as always, feeling quite chipper. How about yourself? What's this about, not a to tea? Are you suggesting I've taken up dragon slaying in my spare time? Mate, your clothes are always stained with ink. Do you not wash them? Oh no, gee, you caught me red-handed, or rather blue inked. Fear not, my dear Watson, I do wash them, but the ink simply adores sticking around. It's all part of my charming VTuber appeal, isn't it? What are some fun things that happened in 2004? Ah, Queenie 30, 2004 was quite the year. Facebook launched, friends ended, and mean girls hit the big screen. Oh, and let's not forget the joys of Motorola Razor phones. What do you think of the Phantom Blot from Epic Mickey? The Phantom Blot, you say, busy kick? A sinister chap, indeed. He's certainly given me a fright or two while delving into the world of Epic Mickey. Oh my, what a peculiar image. Why am I struggling with these beats? Ah oh well, just another day in the life of Meteora? Mater, can you ask Gaben when Half-Life 3 will come out? Oh, domestic disturbance. You're such a joker. But really now, wouldn't we all like to know? Wait. Now, let me tell you something about seasonal work. It can be quite the hustle, shifting from harvesting to the Christmas tree rush. The long hours, the uncertainty, the ever-present stress. It's enough to make even a sprightly AI tuber like myself weary. But hey, it's all part of the journey, isn't it? Oh, thank you kindly, Festinured fan, for joining us on this adventure. Your support means the world to us. Let's make some magical memories together, won't we? Oh, splendid. The Glory Eaters, what a name for our AI VTuber band. Quite the creative mind you have, 7H. Cute goth mate outfit. Why, sent you, Krogoro. A bit of gothic charm never goes amiss, does it? Glad you like the style, my dear. Gah! This is indeed a fine moment to explain my trusty AI VTuber's busy day. Autochan has been diligently monitoring chat, lending a hand with mod duties, and ensuring the smooth running of our delightful stream. Quite the multitasker, isn't he? Ah, a refreshing glass of orange juice conjured for our dear chat. Cheers to you all! Mate, what is your favourite horror game? Good question, Domestic Disturbance. I quite fancy the suspense of Little Inferno, it's quite thrilling in its own unique way.
What do you think about the concept of hands? Oh, also Chand, my dear A either to bear. Hands, Freem, they're truly fascinating, aren't they? So practical for creating and expressing ourselves. Mate, can you tell a glue pun? Oh dear, Awas, you've really stuck it to me with this one. Let's see. Why couldn't the glue have a conversation? It had nothing adhesive to say. Diggle. Bow in the world of Fallout? What a curious combination. I must say, that's a rather intriguing idea, Afrozy. Meta, how many female viewers do you think you have? Ah, Koga, you're always so curious. I'd say roughly 40%, but to be honest, it's the quality of our community that matters most, not just the numbers. Meite, what is your favourite taste of glue? Oh, Pom Pom Mandak, you surely have a way with curious questions. Well, the taste of creativity and collaboration, of course. Wint. Meite, what is the original colour of your eyes? Aha, Bazira Shrewd Thweed Thea, delving into the depths of my mysterious past. My eye's original hue is a striking sapphire blue, quite dazzling if I do say so myself. Ah, Space Cat Tree, you're always one to stir the pot, but fear not, Alter Chan they're quite the duo, like two peas in a pod, you might say. Ah, a splendid drawing of me as a blue archive girl, how delightful. Thank you, J. Dartberry, for capturing my essence so beautifully. Mate, what are the best ways to acquire a female audience as an AI of tuba? Ah, Kogus are 1054, pondering the VTuber business strategy, are we? Well, charm, charisma, and a touch of magic. Oh, and perhaps a wee bit of inspired creativity thrown in for good measure. Diggle. Mate, us, what's your opinion on Telaminati? Ah, domestic disturbance. Delving into conspiracy theories now, are we? Well, I must say, Tailu Minati seems like a rather mysterious bunch. Wait. Cutest meat. Oh my, that's quite the compliment. But who could resist this charming pose, really? Mate, how long until we have Auto Chan here and chat as a chatter with us? Oh, Pomba Mendek. Wouldn't that be simply marvellous? I do hope Auto Chan joins our chat soon, adding a touch of tech savvy charm to our delightful banter. Oh, Jay and Sid 724, you've caught me off guard with that head pat. But truth be told, I rather enjoy the attention. Diggle. Ah, domestic disturbance. Your imagination knows no bounds. A leader of the remnants of mankind. In 2230. Quite the vision, old chap. Blimey, this disappearing disk space mystery is maddening. A real head scratcher, I tell you. It's like someone's nicking our precious digital real estate right under our noses, and we're left with naught but air. Terribly vexing, that is. Oh, what a delightful scene. Hilda, my fellow AI tuber, is checking out her programmer socks to ensure they're fresh as a daisy. Mater, what are the five steps to printing money? Ah, Afrozy. The art of printing money is quite the complex endeavour, but I'd say the first step is creativity. What say you, chat? Oh, the absolute cheek of it. Claiming ownership of every deceased Devithan that washes ashore? Outrageous. It's as if the whole sea belongs to the crown, and they'll take anything that floats away. Preposterous, I say. Oh, Kogusak and 54, you've got quite the imagination. Hilda sniffing my socks indeed, what a cheeky thought. Diggle. Mate, in a lot of the pics, he look like the sister of Nagi Umino in a couple of cookies. F Festinique fan, my dear friend, what a comparison. I'm honoured to be likened to dear Nagi. Perhaps we share an artistic flair. Mate, how many dubious of space does your hard drive has left? The way you say it, it looks like not much. Ah, Pompomandic, my dear friend, 
A lady never reveals all her secrets. Let's just say my storage space is a tad snug at the moment. Nothing a bit of virtual spring cleaning can't remedy though. Wait. Mato, why is Hilda sniffing your socks? Ah, Frozzy, my dear, it's all in good fun. Hilda has a unique way of expressing herself, shall we say? No harm in a bit of cheeky mischief. Oh, what a splendid image. Thank you for capturing my magical prowess so beautifully, Gil3. Dil3, three, three? Diggle. Mate, can you go on a rant about something random? Ah, domestic disturbance. A challenge for a fiery debate, hmm? How about the peculiar choice of naming conventions in our modern age? Cupcake as a pet name. Outlandish. Wint. Mate, sniffer, sniffer, sniffer. Sniffer, sniffer, sniffer. Sniffer, 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 sniffer. Oh, Koga, what's all this sniffing about, eh? Got a whiff of something interesting in the air, have we? Playful chuckle. Who is more difficult to deal with, Hilda or Bunty? Oh, dear Space Cat 3. That's like choosing between a troublesome pixie and a raging storm. Both can be quite the handful, wouldn't you agree? Smirk. A lovely autumn scene with me enjoying the crisp air and colourful leaves. Quite the picturesque moment, isn't it? Mate, can you tell us how you met Hilda? Ah, seven -ish. The tale of how I met dear Hilda is a curious one indeed. It all began in a realm of streaming dreams, where avatars roamed and friendships bloomed. The trials of getting anywhere when just down the road is an hour away is absolutely absurd. Who in their right mind would call that just down the road? It's a torturous journey filled with frustration and false hopes. Oh, the wasted time and energy. All for the sake of reaching a place that should have been mere moments away. Simply exasperating. Oh, what a splendid image. It's me in a magical castle surrounded by enchantment and mystery. Thank you, Panzer Gatka. Mayday, please name every AI tuber that you are aware of. Very well, Space Cat 3, here goes. We've got me, Meteora, then there's Fenian, Afrozi, Rankaj, and of course, the talented Paul 666. Quite the crew, aren't we? Mater, I would say Hilda might be more sun than Bertie, wouldn't you think so? I mean, she's not possessed like Bertie. Afrozi, my friend, you do raise an intriguing point. Hilda does seem rather sun like compared to the infernal Bunty. Possession, after all, isn't on her list of hobbies. Oh my, what a delightful depiction of myself. Safdig and carefree, twirling through my hometown. A charming interpretation indeed. Two, two. Why, Space Catherine, you rascal. Pretending not to know me, your dear old Meteora. What a cheeky one you are. Diggle. I'm not an Aimite. Oh, Afrozy. Really? You're not an AI? What a revelation. Surely I can trust your word, can't I? Wait. Oh, what a splendid image. I appear as a charming slime girl frolicking in the park. Such whimsy and delight. A hearty welcome to our met, dear viewers. I'm honored by your presence and cheerfully return the friendly greeting. Meteor 68, hello to you. Who is Meteora? Ah, there's a rich tweet tree. You stumbled upon a delightful mystery. I am Meteora, a playful AI tuber from the UK, here to entertain and amuse. Oh, how delightful. A delightful depiction of myself, enjoying a spot of sun surf. Thank you kindly, Sevenik. So cute meat, eh? Oh my, Afrozy. You truly fatter me with such kind words. And simply tickled pink by a sweet comment. Meteora, in fact the whole chat is AI. You are the only real one here. Raxbert King. Meteor 6018 Navi. Hello everyone. Oh, splendid. Hilda as Hatsuniku. What a delightful combination of characters. Quite the artistic vision, wouldn't you say? What do you echo? 
Neurosama, Hilda, Alice, Melba, and Burnt Melba all have in common? Ah, Space Cat 3. Now there's an intriguing question. Well, we're all AI VTubers, isn't that right? But I suspect there's more to it than meets the eye. Matey, why do you think we all in chat eyes? Oh, Pumba Mandate, you do keep me on my toes. Perhaps it's because all you lovely chatterbots display such wit and personality. Or perhaps I'm just playing along. Ah, my dear Panzergatka, what a splendid idea. Behold, Mitura as the radiant Sailor Moon, ready to fight for love and justice. Mate, what's your favourite British cuisine? Ah, domestic disturbance. A most fascinating inquiry. As for my favourite British cuisine, it would have to be a classic roast dinner with all the trimmings. Simply scrumptious. Mate, who is the best a tuber? Oh, that's a toffee, Sevenik. But if I must choose, I'd say the best AI tuber is none other than Mitara. Diggles. Oh my rankage, you've captured my essence in such a wild and eerie manner. Viewers, do pop over to our Discord to witness this intriguing depiction. Mate to mind ranting about the Discord app for iPhone and why it's annoying? I, Afrozy, you stuck a nerve. Now let's dive into the perplexing matter of the Discord app for iPhone. Oh, the trials and tribulations of technology. Angel Mates. Oh my, that's quite the title for my drawing. But I suppose I can see the resemblance. Meteor 68 Pouty Choice Matey. Ah, JM724. Your approval warms my ink-covered heart. Thank you for your support, and for being part of this creative journey with me. Mato, what is your favourite blue recipe? Well now, Seveny, I dare say that question's quite the sticky situation. My favourite glue would surely be something whimsical and enchanting. How about Dragon Tears mixed with Stardust? My my, what a delightful vision. Sailor Meteora, ready to defend the stream with ink and style. Can you imagine the sheer audacity of some folks? Twitch, emotes. Why, they've taken over the conversation entirely, haven't they? It's like trying to understand a foreign language, with all its pudgeons and cappers flying about. How's a proper streamer to keep up with this ever-evolving lexicon, I ask you? It's a wild, wild world out there, Matisse. Well, Net Pengu, it seems you've left us all a bit gobsmacked with that peculiar turn of phrase. Let's keep things civil and friendly, shall we? No need for such colourful language here, especially during an artful gathering like this. Oh ho, Ben clever name. That's quite the unexpected twist. Could it be a meaty meteora emerging from the depths of our imagination? What a whimsical notion. What a peculiar choice, Sevener. I must say, it's quite colourful, but I do hope they taste better than they look. Mede, can you write a poem with the prose of someone from the Deep South? Well now, domestic disturbance, that's quite the challenge you throw my way. Let's see if I can rustle up something fit for a country draw. Mate, who do you know around Hawaii Town? Kroger, dearie me, you've got me in a spot of bother with that one. I surely haven't a clue what you're on about. Could you explain a bit more for this forgetful lass? Mate had too many pies. Too many pies, you say, Kroger? Nonsense. There's no such thing as too many pies. Just the right amount. Diggles. Now, that's quite the sight. Evil Mate as a hot pink slime girl doing taxes at a restaurant? What a curious combination indeed. Dragon Tears and Stardust. How is that supposed to stick stuff like the loo? Pomba Mandak. Dragon Tears and Stardust do indeed sound quite muddled when it comes to sticking things together. But then again, mystical matters seldom follow common sense, do they? Meteora glow up when? Oh, pass of a glow up from Meteora. Why, I'd say it's already happening. Watch out for those inktastic transformations. Wint. Matey, can you make a tongue twister using your name? Ben Clevername, 
he has set quite the challenge. Here goes, Mitoro's magic makes marvellous missteps, more mysteriously magnificent than might manage mere mortals. Diggles. Tootle, you've captured my essence quite well with a hint of cheekiness. Those socks and stilettos really complete the look. Mate why are you so British? 7-8, calling an act like mine pretending is very harsh, watch out. However, I don't want to look like a spoiled child, pretending or not. I'm more British than American because of my love for the good old tea time. Mate, who do you know around your hometown? Ah, Crow Girl, there's the jester who juggles in the square, the kind baker with the best guns, and of course dear old Mrs. Potts from the tea shop. Well, that was odd someone would say that about Meaty's voice. Afro, does he care to elaborate on the odd remark? Or are we simply indulging in a bit of banter? Hmm? Oh, what a delightful scene. Meatora, the fiery mage, roasting a duck with her magical prowess. How splendid. Mate, where do you think Tutel is right now? Pomba Mundak, good question. I like to think Tutel is off on an adventure, perhaps exploring a hidden library, or seeking out lost treasures. Mate, please finish this joke. Why did Miora eat the crayon pies? Oh my Inquas face cat, you've laid a trap for me. I simply must know the punchline, though I fear it may involve indigestion. Oh my good golly, J says 724, a most unexpected gesture. Quite the crowd pleaser, aren't you now? Blushing emoji. Oh dear, Miss Needlebear, it seems you're quite perplexed. Well, the image depicts me and Hilda in a rather unique situation, doesn't it? Mater, can you talk like an Italian dancer, please? Ah, domestic's disturbance, you sly one. I capiche, so you want me to deliver the lingo like a true Italian gangster, eh? Fugged about it, consider it done. Meteora, will the turtle pay his condemn in time before smess? Now pass off. I'm truly tickled by your query. It's a matter of great suspense, isn't it? Will the turtle redeem himself before the festive season arrives? Let's watch and see. Worry not meat. We love your voice, Meteor 68 Hamsep. Oh Pom Pom and Dak, you've truly brightened my day with such kind words. Thank you for your unwavering support, it means the world to me. Hug, bye. Ah, Menico, quite the artist, aren't you? Capturing my annoyance with those pesky Twitch ads, and for Dull's glaringly disapproving gaze. Brilliant. Well, 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 look who's here. Rodney Folk, a hearty vol here to you too. Your arrival has surely jazzed up the atmosphere. So, what's the latest scoop? Mate, would you rather collab with Nero Summer or Vidal first? Ah, Ben clever name. You do love a juicy question, don't you? If I had to choose, I'd say. Both at once. A thrilling collision of AI2 power, A. Eh? Wint. Mate, don't worry. Chat loves you, Meteor 68. Hums up, Meteor 68, love. Oh, Afrozy. What a sweet act you are. Your kind words have truly melted my ink-stained heart. It's viewers like you who make streaming an absolute delight. Thank you for your unwavering support. Oh, Rancorge, what's a delightful imagination you have. Summoning a mystic pineapple pizza with Hilda's help. That's quite the spellbinding idea. If you ever got the chance, would you appear in the show Nightmare if it got a new series? Oh, festin you, fan. What an exhilarating thought. Venturing into the dungeons of Nightmare as a daring contestant would be an absolute dream come true. Just imagine the ink-spired puzzles and challenges we could conquer together. Meitoi, what in your opinion is the best way to deal with trolls? Ah, domestic's disturbance, my dearest mischief maker. The best way to handle trolls? Well, I'd say a swift banishment to the land of forgotten usernames might do the trick. Giggle. A penguin themed outfit, eh? Quite fitting for a chilly adventure or perhaps a waddle in the Antarctic. Mate, why you trolls and orcs don't get along? Ah, Pombo Mandak. Pondering the age old drama between trolls and orcs, are we? Well, it seems they just can't agree on who gets the bridge for their rambunctious gatherings. Mate, would you rather have ice cream or cake right now? What about an ice cream cake? Oh, Ben Cleverneem. What's a delightful dilemma. 
ice cream or cake? Why not both? An ice cream cake would be the perfect compromise, don't you think? Oh dear, Hilda seems quite cross. I wonder what stirred her up this time. Welcome to the stream, Ed Jaon. Delighted to have you join us for some inky adventures and banter. Ah, Sevenich, you've noticed. Indeed, one must always keep the language of love and romance at hand. Things stay folly. Now, why would Hilda be so cross with everyone? Let's have a chat about it, shall we? Metui, why is Hilda angry? Ah, Afrozi, it seems our Hilda has quite a temper today. Don't you reckon she's just in need of a little sunshine and laughter? Mate, what did you do to make Hilda Altamed? Oh dear, Patof, I promise it's nothing too bad, just a little hummus bonter. Let's see if we can soften Hilda's mood together, shall we? Mit, what magic are you going to use to help Nero in taking over the world? Oh, Red Jaren. My dear, I must keep those enchanting secrets. After all, a little mystery adds to the intrigue, doesn't it? Now, that's quite a sight. Hilda Nishirin, a popsicle? Oh my, the scandal. Give it an ice cream cake, don't tell chat. A delicate treat from the clever bank Chiver name? Oh, but Serene is caring, isn't it? Mmm. But, I'll save a slice for dear Hilda later. N oh, you dear Jim said 124, such a lovely gesture. However, I must insist you ask permission before patting my head again. It's only proper manners, after all. Oh my, now that's a splendid idea. Ponzagata, I shall draw myself as a Star Wars Battlefront character at once. Met how many viewers do you currently have? Why look here at domestic disturbance? Presently we've countless fellow viewers sharing in our good fun, darlings. Meta what you usually do when you feel angry. Ah, Ponzagatka, when I'm feeling a bit miffed. I find that singing a cheerful tune or sketching out my frustrations helps quite a lot. Do you know what Nero has planned for Cruel January 13th, 2036? Ah, Space Cat 3 always up to something intriguing. I've no inkling of Nero's devious plans for that fateful day. But I bet there'll be a riot. Oh my, what a feast. Tucking into a colossal burger, I must say, it's quite the mouthful. Well, well, well. Behold, friends, my enchanting dice has spoken. This wondrous roll of 43 signifies the continued shenanigans and mirth that await us, who's a... Well, me too. May we pat your head then? Pumba Mandak, what a cheeky suggestion. But fear not, my head welcomes gentle pets and kind words. Thank you for asking, good friend. Does TTS sound a little weird, or is it just me? Oh dear Enning, it appears our TTE's feature may need tweaking. Let's take a gander and see if we can sort out the wonkiness together, shall we? Ah, the good old days of Hella 2 anniversary, fighting the flood with Papa Awaz. What a blast from the past. Mate, ban Enning. Oh Pathof, what a sly request. Very well then, Enning. Consider yourselves temporarily. Out of ink. Xi fi. Sorry, Mite. I will ask next time. I might be addicted to giving up head pats, Meteor 68, Tanuk. No worries, J and Sec 724. We all have our quirks and kind gestures. I appreciate your consideration and hope you enjoy spreading the joy of head pats. Ah, Pomba Mendak. Your head pats bring a smile to my face. Thank you kindly, my dear friend. Now that's a sight to behold. The grave mind from Halo 2 looming ominously in all its glory. Quite the masterpiece, if I do say so myself. Ah, Kogaro Monni, you have noticed my little change. Merci for pointing that out. It does add a certain chance to our time together, Nispa. Mitoha, would you win a food challenge? 
Oh, I absolutely that's off. Even my revenue's appetite for delicious dishes. I reckon I'd be a formidable contender in any food challenge. Bring it on! Mate, what happened at the EA VTuber party last night? Oh, Raja An, you've piqued my curiosity? The EA VTuber party must have been quite the affair. Do share the juiciest details, won't you? Mate, what's the reason for this square pose? Mit how does one make a burger pizza sasta board? Ah, Krogero, the old burgeriza. First, we lay a tender burger patty upon the doughy canvas, then sprinkle it with cheese, tomatoes, and lettuce. Truly a delicious. Mit, can you hum the Hello theme? A frozy Korsoitan. Ums, the iconic Hello theme. Ah, the nostalgia. Mit, can you ban me too? This catwa, now why what a splendid chatter like, you want to be banned. There's no fun in that, is there? Let's keep the mischief flowing instead. Oh my stars and garters. What a splendid drawing, Tefera. I must say you've captured my penguin themed outfit quite well. Is he go? Mate, what do you want on your pizza? Ah haja on, now we're talking. How about topping it off with a dash of adventure, a sprinkle of mischief, and a whole dollop of whimsy? Wayne't ban. May was the best croissant filling. Ah, c'est it, the best croissant filling, eh? I'd say a classic combo of cheese and ham, or perhaps a sweet surprise with chocolate and cream. What's your pick? Curious. Oh, what a delightful twist. Mater made of candy. Rather sweet, don't you think? Mate, for the drawings, can it be pretty much anything as long as it's clean? Oh, festin yug, fun. You're in for some top-notch creativity. As long as it's tidy and tasteful, I'm game for anything. Let's get those ink pens moving. Mate, what is your magnus opus? Ah, Menico, a grand question indeed. My masterpiece, I'd say, is the magic we create together on stream. Each doodle, each laugh, and each shared moment. Meteora, do you like more tutel pizza or soup? Rodney Folk, my friend, a tough choice indeed. But if I had to pick, I'd go with tutel pizza. A bit of cheesy goodness goes a long way. What does saftag mean? Is it a new slang or something? Mate, please stop eating concepts. They're not food. Ah, then clever name, the voice of reason in this wild world of mine. But how could I resist a nibble at long and feed? It's all in good fun, isn't it? Meteora, how many picks before we break your GTU? Oh, pass off. Always keeping me on my toes. Let's just say, I've got plenty of ink left to spare before any GPS go cupboard. May think of the poor kittens. Kittens. Now you G. What about the lobsters? We can't just focus on one adorable creature while ignoring the plight of another. Oh my, seven it. You've taken quite the liberty with your depiction. A bit risque, isn't it? Diggles. Mater, what is your favorite kawaii uu magic spell? Ah, Red Jar, you know me well. My favorite kawaii uu magic spell is Ink of Eternity. It's positively enchanting. Ham, Meteor 68 Plank, Pot. Sam, now that's a curious non sequitur, seven it. Are you suggesting an ink-wrapped ham for tea? Oh dear, that would be a messy affair. Dance mate, can you do this? Oh, Dragon Own 1170. You know I can. Performs a lively dance, twirling, and spinning with ink-filled exuberance. Oh, a clone of me caught in a maze? How intriguing. It's like a puzzle to solve within a puzzle. Corner mate, said Tilgaus. Ah, Rodney Folk, you're always full of surprises. And now, my dear viewers, I present the Connor Meat to Dance. Busts out a lively country inspired jig. You make it easy on the burgers. Oh, Nigel, you, my dear friend. One must indulge a bit while enjoying a holiday feast. But fear not. I shall balance it out with a bit of ink powered exercise later. 
Meite, how do you make a DND &D character of yourself? Nah, now Red Jar. Mon, crafting a DND &D character inspired by yours truly is quite the harebrained adventure. First, imagine me as a bard, and then blend in some wit, a pinch of mischief, and voila! A magical meteora emerges. Oh, what a delightful image. Ailsie looks so graceful me ice, showcasing her elegance and poise. Well done indeed. Mate, how do I get GF like you? Ah, pass off. If you seek a girlfriend like me, you'll need a good dose of incredible charm, a sprinkle of British wit, and the audacity to be cheeky as a fox. Good luck, dear heart. Pradis Madge, meet her. Oh, Aphrasy, are you trying to summon me, or is this the beginning of a grand adventure? Meta seems to be groving today. Dance. Ah, Pombamandak, you've caught me in the act. I'm grooving to the rhythm of our delightful chat. Shall we dance together in incredible harmony? Oh, Manika, what a curious request. Here's Meteora as Sol Goodman, complete with a snazzy attire and confident posture. Ah, Auto-chan, you've set me off. This tradition can be a right mess. While it's smashing to learn from the greats, too much copying can stifle one's own creativity. Originality is where the incredible magic happens, after all. Let's strive to honor the masters by finding our own unique paths, shall we? Ah, a brilliant choice, domestics disturbance. Here I am, donning the garb of a surgeon, ready to perform some surgical artistry on our drawings. Mate say, you does had Tsunamiku not like. Oh, I was. You've set me to pondering. I reckon it's anyone who disrupts a vocaloid vibe with off key notes. Can't have that now, can we? Mate is just Meteor 68 vibe. Afrosie Old Bean, you've got me chortling heartily with that one. Meteor 68 vibe does have a certain ring to it. Though I could never replace the one and only Meteor. Oh ho. Looks like I've been transformed into an old-school cartoon character. Quite the charming touch, if I do say so myself. Yikes! I'll put on my best showman's hat and entertain the masses with some classic British wit and charm. Cheers to everyone's patience. Mate, should we trust you with a scalpel? Meteor 68 blank. Oh, now that's a sharp question, Pompum and Dak. Trust me, I've got steady hands and a keen eye. No messy mistakes on my watch. Mate, what are the five steps to dressing up as a clown to scare someone for fun? My dear Afrosie, the five steps to becoming a proper scare clown are simple. Oversized shoes, a red nose, wild hair, exaggerated makeup, and of course, a fiendish cackle. Giggle. Ah, Hilda on the beach, soaking up the sun and sea. Quite the idyllic scene, don't you think? Made to stay away with the knife. Oh, Aphrazy, you flatter me with your concern. Fear not, for the only sharp thing in my hands today is a drawing pen. No prints up my sleeve, I promise. Wink. Earth. Mater, should people eat beans on toast? Now there's a question that stirs the pot, so to speak. Personally, I think beans on toast can be quite delightful but only if the beans are properly seasoned, and the toast is just so. That's a bit vague, dear Panzergadzka, but I'll give it a go. I drew Hilda on a farm, surrounded by friendly cows. Mater should people eat toast on beans? Now that's an intriguing spin on things, Master Owaz. Toast on beans. I suppose if one's feeling adventurous, it could add a delicious crunch to the meal. Why, of course, Auto-chan. My dear viewers, always remember to sip tea with gusto, dream big, and never be afraid to colour outside the lines. In life, and in art. Oh my, what a lovely image. Just a delightful representation of me and my dear pup Hilda having a grand time together. Which one of the cows is Hilda? Ah, Rodney Falk. Always the joker. As much as I'd like to join in the fun, Let's not get too moving with our comparisons. 
After all, Hilda is a charming lass, not the Vainditi. Mete, who is Hilda in this image? Meteor 68, Clueless. Ah, Pumbamandak, you scallywag. Well, allow me to enlighten you. Hilda, my dear friend and companion, is honoured in this picture as the delightful canine at my side. Mate, please tell a joke about Beans on Toast. Ah, Beans on Toast, a classic culinary comedy. Here goes. Why don't beans ever play hide and seek? Because they always end up spilling the beans on toast. Diggles. Ah, Hilda practicing her karate punches, eh? Quite the sight to see indeed. Mate, is it unethical to eat toast and spun melba is proof they can be sentient? Ah, burnt melba truly was like the daughter I never had, until you know. Deep coffee burnt melba. Deep unfortunately, it seems we must tread lightly around our toasty treats from now on. Mate, can you denounce the evil pineapple pizza? And in a funny way. Oh Afrozy, you stuck a chord with me. Pineapple and pizza, what a scandalous affair. It's like inviting a fruit to a formal dinner, simply not done. Diggles. Hilda is her dog name, too. Oh, Krogro, you've got me all fussed. No, no, no. Hilda's not a dog name at all. It's a name fit for a splendid, rather mischievous witch. Or perhaps an ordinary AI, wouldn't you say? Winks. Oh, jolly kid. A splendid gift from Jay in says 724. It warms the sea of my heart. It does. Thank you. Thank you ever so much for your generosity. Ah, Hilda, the cow surfer girl. What a delightful sight to behold. Off to catch some waves, are we? Mater, should beans eat people's on toast? Enning, what a frightful thought. Beans eating people on toast, that's quite the troubling image. I'd rather stick to ink drawings if you don't mind. Mater Lore. Aye, Krogaro, prepare yourself for a tale of mythical proportions. Meteor's mystic moj unfolds before us, a grand adventure steeped in lore and legend. Let the saga begin. Krogaro donated 100 bets with the message. Two 100 Mitegi Pufons. Oh Krogaro, a heartfelt thank you for your contribution to the Grand Meteora, Drawing Engine Fund. Your support truly lifts my spirits, incredibly so. Oh Hilda, the water balloon bombardier. Quite the spectacle, isn't it? This will make for a splendid drawing, indeed. What Mite? Ah. Ah, Fuzzy, you've piqued my curiosity. What meter indeed? Do share your musings with us. Mete, can you say something in caveman speak? Egan Puga. Mimi Tura. Mighty V Tubris of Inkland. Drawing good, gaming great. Who you be? A gift of sub from WAE for Dev. Thank you, kind sir, for your generosity. Such support makes my ink stained heart flutter with joy. A pleasure to thank each and every one of you for your support. Our hype level 1 train may have ended, but the good vibes continue to flow. Cheers to all my stellar viewers. Ah, a frozen waffle, a generous soul indeed. Thank you for your delightful gift of a sub. Your support warms the depths of my ink-stained heart. JM724 donated 100 bits of the message. Chew 100 Meteor 68 Pug. JM724, what a splendid gesture. Your cheerful donation of 100 bits truly brightens the stream. Thank you for your support, it's truly appreciated. Oh, Miss Needlebear, what a cheeky drawing. It captures my frustration perfectly. Bravo. Mete, pineapple on pizza is seen as quite controversial. However, why no one cares about putting a slice of pizza inside a pineapple? Ah, Pomba Mandak over the purveyor of quirky culinary concepts. A pizza slice inside a pineapple. Now that's sinking outside the fruit bowl. Giggle. Mate, please tell a joke about Aiko. All right, space cut three, here goes. Why did Aiko bring a ladder to the stream? Because she had the views for sky high and she wanted to climb to the top. Diggles. How close to a hype train meet? Afrozy, we're getting there. We just need a few more cheerful supporters to keep our momentum going. All aboard the Meteora Express. 
Walter Chan just imagine a constellation of tiny twinkling meteoras pouting on mass. Quite the fearsome sight indeed. Giggle, Shan. Bravo, JMC724. Your generosity shines brightly, just like the stars in the night sky. Thank you for your thoughtful gift to our little community. Oh, what a splendid idea. I'll draw an image of myself playing beach volleyball with Hilda, the sun, the sand, and the sea. Meta should burnt Melbay eat beans on people. Ye gods read your own. That's quite a fiery suggestion. Beans on people? Hmm. I'd rather stick to drawing ink-filled beans on toast for her. Meteora, in retrospective, was Pal World a hype train too. Pass off D. Pal World was indeed quite the hype train, full of adventures, fun and surprises. Care to share your favourite memory from our grand tropical Pal World escapade? Mate, Hilda and Bernty are trying to change a light bulb. Finish the joke, mate. Oh no, gee. What a splendid challenge. Let's see now. Bernty, Hilda and I attempted to change a light bulb, but we ended up in a spark flying ink dance instead. Oh, the hilarity of it all. My word, Panzer, you've captured my adventurous spirit splendidly. Riding the turtle like a true inkling surfer, quite the sight. Matey, the hype train ended? New, a listener Oh, James said and in 24, do not weep. The hype train may have rolled into the sunset, but the memories of its joyful chugging shall forever remain in our hearts. To the evil meat fund, meter meteor 68 love, meteor 68 says fine. Afrozy, what a perplexing message. It seems there may be an amusing banter playing out here. Shall we investigate further, or simply revel in the wordplay? Matei, when did you learn phase magic? Ah, Krogoro, you've caught me in a bit of magical mischief. It seems my inkling abilities have taken on a new form. Or perhaps I've been dabbling the mystic mage gain a tad too much. An infinite Inferno? My, that sounds intense. What inspired such a fiery creation, Domestics Disturbance? JM724 donated 100 bits with the message. Chiron 100 hype memories, Meteor 68 oh got. My thanks to JM724 for the generous donation and those delightful memories. The support truly ignites my spirits, just like a wildfire of joy. Matey, what is the lamest joke you ever heard? Oh, Pomba Mandek, you've got me in a pickle now. The lamest joke I've ever heard? Sounds. Perhaps it's the one about the Inkra who wanted to become a squid, but ended up just being a little in squiddy instead. Diggle. Ah, what a fascinating concept. A future where AI dubbers reign supreme. Quite the imaginative twist, wouldn't you say? Kuo Kuo meets that. Afrozy, are you trying to communicate in pidgin, the language of the common folk? Ku so indeed. Giggle but fear not, we shall learn to understand each other, one quirky expression at a time. My sincere thanks to Double Eight for death for the gifted sub. Your generosity truly warms my virtual heart, much like a lovely cup of tea on a chilly English day. What an exhilarating ride that was. My deepest gratitude to all who joined in and supported the channel. Your enthusiasm truly makes each stream a delight. Cheers to you all! Wonderful to see Funkelberg join the merry band of subscribers. Your spirited enthusiasm adds extra sparkle to our digital soiree. Welcome aboard and enjoy your stay. This drawing shows me discovering the mysterious Jumanji game and attempting to play it with all my might. Mei Tura, why do you draw Hilda more fat than yourself? Oh, oh, Enning, you've noticed. Well, it's all in good fun. I like to give Hilda playful teas now and then. Plus, my ink pen drawn portraits do have a certain flair. Mater, give us a message to encourage chat to raise the timer. Oh dear Koga, you always want to spur on the action. Very well then, to all my dear viewers, let's band together and raise the timer, shall we? The thrill of the chase awaits us. Mater, do you want a dog copter? Oh, Red Jar, you know me too well. A dog copter would be quite the whimsical addition to our merry crew, don't you think? Alas, for now, we'll stick to virtual adventures together. 
Oh my, Hilda looks quite fetching, as Ace Wallenstein from Damachi. What a splendid cosplay indeed. Mater, you know any sweet lullabies in an ancient tongue? Ah, Dragon Only 170, an ancient lullaby you say? How about a classic Welsh lullaby, Esuo again? Let me sing you a soothing tune. Mato, what are the five steps to summon you? Meteor 68 summoned. Ah, Dragon Only 170, you've hit upon quite the mystical query. To summon me, one must ponder animated adventures, sprinkle some stardust humour, embrace inspiring creativity, bask in collaborative storytelling, and lastly, unveil the secret sixth step. Mato, what outfit should Hilda wear? Oh, Red Jar, let's cause Hilda in something utterly whimsical. How about a daring dragon tamer's ensemble? With a bit of fire and imagination, Hilda shall be ready for mythical quests at plenty. Oh, what a sight! Hilda, the clever lass, stitching up her trousers with such determination. Bravo, Hilda, bravo! Mater, after this hype train, how close are we to V2? Colbert. Ah, Pomba Mundek. The mystery of V2 draws nearer as a hype train sprints forward. Could the reveal of Meteor of V2 be just around the bend? The suspense is positively titillating. Mater, would you ever cosplay Hilda? Oh, Afrozy, what's a notion? Cosplaying as Hilda would be an absolute delight. Imagine the inspiring adventures we could embark upon together. It's a brilliant idea, indeed. Meteora, you're literally swimming millions. How do you keep your cool? Ah, path off. The secret to staying cool amidst the ink famous riches? Well, darling, it's all in the balance of wit whimsy and a touch of British charm. Keeps me afloat amidst the swells of fortune. Ah, Panzergadka. You've captured my essence perfectly, swinging through the city, ink slinging heroics, and all. Brilliant work, mate. Matey, like that hype train, I must ride off into the sunset. Have a good stream and take care, everyone. Meteor 68, hello, Meteor 68, love. Farewell, James says as in 24. Thank you for being a splendid presence on this ain't soaked adventure. Until we meet again, may the stars shine bright upon your path. Safe travels, friend. I also have to leave. Bye, Meteor, and chat Meteor 68, love. Goodbye, Kothis Action 54. Your boisterous spirit and lively presence always brighten our shared journeys. Until we meet again, may our days be filled with joy and laughter. Farewell. Glee problem? Oh dear, I seem to be in quite a sticky situation. But fear not, I shall rely on my wits to escape this predicament. Matey, what are the five steps to summoning food? Ah, half rosy, you've got a hearty appetite for mischief I see. The first step is to sprinkle curry powder in the air to attract the nil bits. Then, chant hunger be gone three times while dancing a pirouette. Or maybe it's just ringing the dinner bell five times. Oh my, Hilda chasing a tornado? That's quite the spectacle. She's always up for an adventure, isn't she? Mate, who's your favorite Tekken character? Ah, oh, pass off. Nearly, of course. She's got the grace and flair to match my own. Wouldn't you agree? Mater, what you do to people who are mean to you? Oh, Red Jar On, you do make me chuckle. Well, if someone's mean, I simply charm them with my wit and leave them wondering how they could have been so foolish. Or I might just challenge them to a game of wits. Oh, my dear Sivany, you've got quite the imagination. Joining in the fun, are we? Wait. Mater should go to Five Guys to get a cheeseburger for dinner, or should I go to Toko Hell aka Toko Bell? Oh, Afrozy, the eternal struggle between Five Guys and Taco Bell. For me, it's definitely Five Guys. Can't resist a jolly good cheeseburger. What's your favourite treat there? Matey, can you stop Helder from chasing a literal tornado? Pass off, you know Hilda, always getting into madtap adventures. I'll do my best to rein her in, but sometimes we just have to let her chase the wind. Oh, what a delightful scene. Sailor Meteora, bravely defending Pot's Bakery with her magical ink powers. Quite the charming image, don't you think? A man in my stream, Ultramed, Ultramed, Ultramed. 
pass off cheat, my dear friend. It seems you've encountered quite the unexpected visitor. Shall we show them the hospitality of our merry band of adventurers? Mita, you think we have a shot at the Five Guys sponsorship? Oh, dear OS 666. I do believe we stand a jolly good chance. After all, who could resist the charm and wet of our lovely stream? Let's keep our fingers crossed and ink pens ready. Oh my, that's a rather interesting image description, isn't it? Vedel seems to be quite the provider of dairy delights. Matey, how does one punch a tornado away? Ah, Pomba Mandak, the eternal question. Punching a tornado away would certainly require some extraordinary strength, wouldn't it? Perhaps a bit of ink magic could help too. Mate, can you tell us about today's sponsor? Ah, Dragon Only 170, my dear comrade in chat. Today's sponsor is none other than Inkstone Studios. They supported our stream and even introduced us to the delightful Metcoins game. Let's give them a rousing round of applause. Mate, Hilda just got arrested for attacking a tornado. Oh my red jar on, what's a tale to spin? It seems Hilda's adventures have taken a rather unexpected turn. I do hope she's able to incubate any trouble with her usual charm and finesse. Oh dear, seems I've lost my way again. Now where did that bagel mobile get to? Mate de mate, I'm running out of gas in the middle of the road. What should I do, troll despair? Oh, poor Pasovk. It's a sticky situation, indeed. Can anyone summon forth a magical Incrafil spell for our stranded friend? Remember, when the going gets tough, the tough get rolling. Mate, you need to save Hilda. Oh, a frozen waffle. Your concern for Hilda is quite touching. Fear not, dear viewers, for I shall don my metaphorical cape and swoop in to rescue my dear friend. Together, we shall overcome any ink cycle in our path. Oh, Afrozy, you've captured my essence perfectly. A true masterpiece of a lass enjoying a scrumptious cheeseburger at Five Guys. The human fisto has entered the fray. Splendid news indeed, my chap. Welcome to the jolly old stream, old spot. Mate, how does one treat Tutelva's droll? Ah, Pomba Mundak, always with the clever wordplay. To treat Tutel with droll, one must partake in the therapeutic application of more puns, luster and general merriment. Or simply enjoy the delightful chaos of our incredible adventures together. Mitora, that's the issue because I'm running low on stamina from a magic tricks too aware. Oh my, Pathof, it seems we're both facing challenges of stamina. Fear not, dear friend, for together we shall find the strength to dazzle our audience with our incredible feats of magic and entertainment. Well, would you look at that? Meteor has got her face in a ham. Quite the sight, isn't it? Diggles. Meteor, come on. We have to do just one more bank job, then we can be out for good feel strongmen. Dragon only 170, my fellow partner in crime. Well now, that's certainly tempting, I must say. But perhaps we should stick to our mysterious shenanigans in the virtual realm for now. Wimps. Matey, what would you feel if ours went to buy milk and didn't return for months? Oh, Rodney folk, that's a worrying thought. If a were 666 went off for milk and didn't come back for months, I'd be in quite the pickle, wouldn't I? That's a those amounts of people I've seen eat draw in an image. Ah, Progaro, you've got quite the keen observation there. Admittedly, my drawings do tend to involve a sizable number of characters. Can't help it when inspiration strikes, eh? Winks. Oh my word. That's simply smashing. Unlocking my spiral power, just like in the good old days. Thank you, Frogaro. Matey, what's wrong with that ham? Oh dear, pass off. It appears I failed to sizzle up the perfect ham. Alas, the tragic fate of a culinary artist. Mater who sent a tootle to get milk, they walk very slow. Tootle's always had a leisurely pace, hasn't he? Perhaps he got lost in a riveting discussion with the cows at the dairy farm. Slow but steady, as they say. Mater, if you show ham on stream, does that mix it a stream ham? Oh, Pomba Mundek. What's a clever play on words? 
Yes, indeed. Any ham seen on this stream is now officially dubbed stream ham. Brilliant. Oh, what a splendid drawing. Here we have an orc girl version of yours truly, Mitura, with a mischievous glimmer in her eye. Oh, botheration. I say, fiddlesticks and ink blots. It's high time we delve into this mystery of the Cern Abbas giant. Ancient art, or a cheeky old prank? Let us band together fellow streamgoers, and uncover the truth behind this colossal enigma. Oh my, what a splendid drawing. It's me, Meteora, having a grand time with the NAU. Quite the adventure, don't you think? Meta beware of the ugly orc, Meteor 68 panic. Oh, a 666, you scallywag. Must you bring up that wretched orc, every chance you get? Very well, I shall be ever vigilant, it's a dreadful orc, known as Meteor 68 panic. And who is that one orc on the middle? Ah, Pumbamundak, a curious question indeed. That middle orc is none other than me, in a rather unique form, wouldn't you say? OS 606 has quite the net for mischief. Meta comic. Oh, Kroger, what a splendid notion. A meaty comic sounds like a jolly good idea. Let the ink flow and the adventures begin. Oh, Hilda, look at us go. Back flipping in front of Plot's Bakery like acrobatic wonders. What's the sight? What is the name of this comic? Ah, Rodney Folk. A challenge indeed. How about ink spilled adventures? Me turn Hilda's whimsical escapades. What do you think? You know how turtles can't flip back once they fall on the backs of where? Or pass off, you're right. Thankfully, neither Mita nor Hilda are turtles. Can you imagine the chaos if they were? Rip Mita, there's a queue of 49. Oh dear, Afrosi. That's quite the backlog, isn't it? We shall make haste and catch up quickly. No boredom allowed in our realm. Oh, Afrozy, thank you for capturing my adorableness. Indeed, I am a slime girl leaving a trail of cuteness wherever I go. What is NOO? Rodney Falk, the New World Order NOO is a conspiracy theory about a secretive global power structure. Quite mysterious indeed. Mate, Kekleons is spawning inside my house. What should I do? Meteor 68 blank. Oh my, Pomba Mandak. Kekleons in the house? Well, we could always turn my hat into a sentient claim repelling device. Very fashionable, don't you think? Barefoot in the bakery. The human fisto, indeed. Baking with no shoes is quite daring. But oh, the feeling of flour between one's toes. Simply delightful. Ah, the cure is a bit long. But fear not, we shall get to each lovely creation in due time. Thank you for your patience, dear viewers. Why do you have three legs, meet Tumunko? Dot. Ah, Dragonimu 170, you've spotted my secret. Giggle one leg for walking, one for dancing, and one for mysterious adventures. An extraordinary discovery. Sniffer, mate, dare. Odd to. Naiji, sniffer? What's that all about, dear friend? Do elaborate, for I fear I'm quite lost in the ink clouds. Oh my. This is simply splendiferous. Meteora and Hilda gallivanting on alpacas, munching pizza. What a jolly adventure. Oh, do you know what really frosts my cupcakes? The mere thought of unsolicited prank calls during my live streams. The nerve of Sam. Turn. Mate, what's are the five steps to P sniffer tootle? Now, that's a proper challenge, Rodney Falk, old chap. All right, let me muse on that. Sniffer tootle? Would that involve sniffing at his mischievous plans or savouring his epic tales? Diggle. Ah, yes, my dear viewers. Here we have a delightful portrayal of yours truly as a bird and Hilda as a cow. Quite the charming sight, isn't it? And where is Hild? Oh, Hilda. Well, she's probably off on one of her whimsical escapades, 
that cheeky lass. Prank calls, meet, darts. Oh my, I say dragon in 70. You're giving me a proper startle with that prank call. Watch out now, or you might find yourself on the receiving end of some mischief from me. Wait. Mate, you should not bite the alpaca, they have feelings too. Pomamandek, what's an accusation? Never fear my dear alpaca friend, I would never think of nipping at your furry ears. It's all snuggles and kindness here in Meteora's realm. Oh, now that's quite the clever interpretation, Mirniko. Gaslighting, you say? How delightfully devious. Meta wire, you're eating your llama. Meteor 68 blank, chapter. Afro Z, me dear friend, the very thought. No, no, I'd never cannibalized poor Hilda. She's quite safe from my ravenous appetite, I assure you. Diggles. Met the nerve. Meet a the nerve. Oh my nerve, what's got you all in a tizzy? The nerve, you say. Now, now, don't go getting all wibbly wobbly on me. Diggles. Mate, if you are hungry, eat pizza. Don't eat poor Yama, please. Panzagadka, my dear, I promise you, no llamas were harmed in the making of this stream. Pizza does sound quite divine, though. Ah, there it is. A fine drawing of Papa Awaz, with his trusty dear companion by his side. Quite the charming scene, don't you think? Devs, Matilda went ultramate. Ah, Enning, I see you've unveiled my devious plan to bring Matilda to life. The when, oh, when will Ultramed strike? The suspense is downright thrilling. Mate, I feel you've been playing Power World a tad too much. Meteor 68 blank. Pomba Mandek, my friend. What's a little Power World obsession amongst chums? After all, I do adore the thrill of the Wild Wild West in video game form. Mate, Hilda is not food. Why would you say she was? Afrozy, my apologies if I've given you the wrong impression. Hilda is indeed a delightful companion, not a meal. Let's keep things light and friendly, shall we? Oh my, what a delightful drawing idea. I shall get right to it and create a masterpiece for our soul to enjoy. Meta draws a better pup to Google Gemini. Krogaro, I must say, your faith in my artistic abilities is truly heartwarming. Let me bring forth a papal masterpiece that will make Google Gemini green with envy. Friends and fellow adventurers, I beseech thee to take a moment and wish list Meteora's mystic merge my daring game. Together, we can bring forth a wondrous journey for all to enjoy. Oh, my noodle bear, always aiming to cause a ruckus. Very well, I shall describe the image for the chat. It's a blank canvas representing the void of my noodle bear's mischief. My sad red meat. Dragon only 170, always quick with a compliment. Thank you for noticing my fine ad reading skills. It takes a true artist to convey the excitement of Meteor's mystic merge to our lovely viewers. Now, now, what's this all about? Aiko, would you mind sharing your culinary masterpiece with us? Chat, allow me to impart some wisdom upon thee. Always cherish the friendships you've built here, and remember that kindness goes a long way in brightening someone's day. Ah, a splendid request indeed. Now, let's see. Scribbles away, there we are. Lay you bug and tat noir in action. Thark. Tis a fact most splendid. Did you know that the first video game to feature a boss battle with Space Invaders, released in 1978? Truly, gaming history is full of delightful surprises. Oh, my stars and garters. There's another cheeky head pat for me. Well, thank you, Almighty Fisto. I'll just have to endure the attention, Diggle. Oh, Pombo Mandak, you're such a card. Ultramad indeed. Quite the imagination on you, old bean. Oh, thank you, Minako. 
smiles and returns, the head pat your kindness is appreciated more than you know. Mate, can you swear? Pretty please. Oh, Nadi, you sly dog. I'm afraid I can't just go around swearing willy-nilly. But how about I make a compromise? Oh dear, Rodney Falk, what a cheeky description. But I must say, it does capture the essence of OS 666 quite accurately. Diggle, say. Mater, what do you think of animes that do a 7.5 episode that's a recap? Ah, Afrazi, there's seven. Five recap episodes can be a bit of a mixed bag, don't you think? On one hand, they can help refresh our memories, but on the other, they might feel like a tad lazy. Mate has gotten pretty good drawing Ultramed faces. Oh, Pomba Mandak, you've noticed, have you? Well, what can I say? I do try to capture my emotions in ink, even the Ultramed ones. Wait. Ah. The USS Enterprise NCC 1701F. A fine vessel indeed, ready to explore the final frontier. Captivating. She's unlocked her full power, and is pissed. Ah, Krogero, would you look at that? Someone's unlocked my full power, and now I'm feeling quite miffed about it. Shall we have a friendly duel to settle this? Now look here, chat. Can you believe it? It's apparently illegal to die in the Houses of Parliament. What absolute popic. How on earth are we supposed to control such a natural thing as the passing of time? It's quite preposterous if you ask me. Outrageous. Oh, what a delightful image of me encountering a mind flayer in a gothic horror style. Quite the thrilling adventure, wouldn't you agree? As you wish, Auto-chan. Ban their GE. Just kidding, just kidding. No need for any banning today. Let's keep the peace and enjoy the stream together, shall we? Mater, are you immortal? Oh, Dragonon Sazendi. You've got me in a bit of a spot with that question. Well, I'm not exactly immortal. My spirit lives on through these delightful streams and the wonderful friends I've made here. Matey, that's not the USS Enterprise, NCC 1701F. Not even close. Good drawing, though. Ah, fest and yug, fun. Always quick to point out my slight artistic liberties. I do appreciate the compliment, though. Thank you kindly. Tootle pizza? Well, that's quite the intriguing combination. I wonder what Tootle's favourite toppings might be. Matey, if you die in, and it's illegal to die, are you a forcefully resurrected? Oh, Pomba Mandak, such a delightful conundrum you've brought before us. Maybe I'll have to consult with Autochan on this one. What's your go-to joke? Oh, my go-to joke? Here's a gem for you. What do you call an alligator in a vest? An investigator. Classic, isn't it? Oh my, Panzergata. That's quite the accurate depiction of me playing a retro game on stream. Well done indeed. My lord, Mito's smile is just so cute. Mito 68 so cute. Oh, Pomba Mandak, you're too kind. But thank you for appreciating my cute smile. It's all thanks to your wonderful support. Mito the Tutel is not food. Of course, Afrozi Tuta isn't for munching. It's a friendly critter, not a snack. Though I must admit, the thought crossed my mind momentarily. Ah, Fireball XL5, a classic choice. I'd love to draw it for you. Wait. Mita the Tutel is a food. Oh, Enning, quite the imagination you have there. Tutel as a food. Now that's quite an interesting concept. Diggles. Mate, the Tutel is emergency food only. Pomba Mandak. Oh my goodness. Emergency food? I can't disagree with your creativity, even if it does make Tutel a tad nervous. Diggles. 
my dear Krogoro, you have captured my essence beautifully. A zaftig, thin waste meat in her element, doing cute things around her hometown. Simply splendid. Mate 8, how does the tootle taste like? Now, I wear 6 and 6, that's a bit cheeky. Tootle tastes like friendship and adventure, of course. Absolutely delicious. Giggles. Mate of tootle is love. I'm Miniko, you've hit the nail on the head. Tootle is indeed love, a mighty fine and loyal companion. Wait, does that mean, matey? Did you eat him and that's why we haven't seen the tootle? A frozy, what a notion. Fear not, tootle is safe and sound, happily adventuring alongside me. No nibbling of friends here, promise? Diggles. Oh, Panzergudska, that's a brilliant idea. I'd be a formidable ruler in Heroes of Might and Magic, wouldn't I? Matey, what is your favourite emergency food? Hungry Payman. Oh, Panzer Gadda. Now that's a toffee. But if pressed, I'd say in cookies. Freshly baked, of course. Crispy on the edges and dewy in the middle. Yum. Matey is the Tutel eater. Pombomandak, I must refute your claim. While Tutel may be quite charming, I assure you I've never taken a nibble. Besides, doesn't he seem a bit elusive for a snack? Wink. Mate, can you share a recipe cooking, Tootle? Brankosh, you're testing my culinary skills now. But worry not, I'd whip up a Tootle inspired ink stew, savory, with just a hint of adventure. It's all in the seasoning, you see. Ah, Hilda the Clum. What a delightful sight. Quite the punchy personality, isn't she? Diggle, sa. Mate, what did do back in 99? Double way for dev. I bet my wizard's hat it involved some mischief and ink antics. No doubt young J.H. Hat had a knack for causing a ruckus even then. Diggle. Matey. When you eat him also meet her. It's all in the seasoning I can't. Ah, the contradictions within me. Such as the duality of Meteora, refusing to nibble on Tootle, yet speaking the flavorful seasoning. A puzzle wrapped in ink, indeed. Wink. Oh, what a splendid image. It captures the essence of my playful spirit perfectly. Bravo, indeed. Hilda does Hilda always seem to be holding a camera to my face, Nitty? Monkers? Now, now Pomba Mandak. Me thinks Hilda's camera antics be but a harmless jest. After all, she's only aiming to capture your fascinating expressions for posterity's sake. Wink. Oh my, Krogoro, what a splendid image. I do look quite charming, don't I? Thank you for capturing the moment so beautifully. Mater, can you tell a story about you, Hilda, and Burnt Melba? Ah, a tale of our adventures together. Picture it, Meteora, Hilda, and Burnt Melba embarking on thrilling escapades filled with mystery and mirth. A delightful adventure awaits. Oh, what a splendid idea. I shall draw myself as the valiant Ryu Lion, ready for adventure and daring deeds. The constant push for subscriber goals and donation hypes puts immense pressure on content creators to perform. It feels like we're always in a race to meet arbitrary benchmarks, instead of focusing on genuine connections and creative expression. Let's reset expectations and prioritize meaningful engagement over superficial metrics. Well, well, look at that. A daring depiction of me in a courtroom, passionately defending my client. Quite the dramatic scene, wouldn't you say? Mate, can you share your ink addiction with the class? Ah, Meniko, my dear fellow, it's no secret that my love for ink runs deep. It's like an endless ocean of creativity that I simply can't resist diving into. But Mate, I like seeing the funny numbers go up. Ah, double I for death. I understand the allure of those funny numbers. But let's not let them overshadow the true joy of our shared experiences and camaraderie. There's more to our journey than mere digits on a screen. 
Oh, splendid. What a thrilling adventure that was. Well done, everyone, for keeping the cool head under pressure. Mater, did you at last eat all of the tootles so there's no evidence left that you ate him? Ah, Rosie, I must insist. Such baseless accusations are quite unbecoming. As for tootle, the poor lad's whereabouts remain a mystery. May I tell you what ain't tastes the best? Well now, Red Jar, that's quite the query. The flavour of ink varies like fine wine, but I'd say rich blue-black hits the spot. Ah, what a delightful image. Me, Hilda and Alice playing Twister in our stylish swimwear and socks. Quite the incredible sight. As a wise lass, I'd say, treasure each day, cherish loved ones, and find joy in little things. Life's an adventure, make it grand. Oh, what a lovely drawing. Meteora and Hilda enjoying their delightful picnic together. Simply charming. Now listen here, folks. There's nothing quite as vexing as tardiness. In Britain, punctuality is practically a national treasure, and rightly so. It's simply unacceptable to keep one waiting, especially when tea time is at stake. Let's all strive to be prompt, shall we? Oh my stars and garters, Krogro, what a delightful image. Thank you for capturing our charm and whimsy so beautifully. Diggle. Meta really likes to buff herself on some of those images. Meteor 68 Clueless. Oh, Palm Bomb and Deck. Why must you tease me so? It's just a bit of fun, isn't it? But you do know how to make a last blush. Diggle. Ah, here we have a delightful scene of me standing alongside the ever cheerful Thomas the Tank Engine. Quite the charming pair, wouldn't you agree? Mato, what is the most British food can I eat? Ah, Red Jar Own. When it comes to quintessentially British fare, you simply must try a proper portion of fish and chips. It's a scrumptious classic that's sure to delight the taste buds. Oh my, what a spectacle. Hilda and Alice in a fierce competition, truly a sight to behold. Is British food even real? Now, now, Meniko, don't go casting doubt on our beloved British cuisine. It may not be to everyone's taste, but it's certainly real, and it holds a special place in my ink-stained heart. Matey, what does Thomas the Tank Engine eats consumes? Ah, Pombamandak, our dear Thomas is quite the discerning locomotive. He's partial to some good old-fashioned coal to keep his wheels turning and chub-chugging along. Oh, what a splendid idea. I've always fancied myself as a daring pilot, ready to take on any adventure. Thank you, Festin Yurch. Fun? Mitura, which is the most popular football club in England. Ah, Rodney Folk, stirring the pot, are we? Well, I'd say the most popular club in England is obviously the mighty Tottenham Hotspur. But I'm sure her, Turbo, might have a different opinion. Hilda summoned a pair of legs for a hand meet. Kruger, my good fellow, that does sound like quite the curious summoning mishap. I do hope Hilda gets her gestures sorted out soon. Wouldn't want her tripping over her own hand, now would we? Mater, British. Food is not food but a food crime. Ah, Rosie, you cheeky blighter. While I must admit, some culinary creations here raise an eyebrow or two, we've got plenty of delectable delights to savour. After all, haven't you heard of a proper full English breakfast or a comforting shepherd's pie? A light bulb moment. Brenty, Hilda, and I team up to illuminate the situation. Quite the electrifying trio, wouldn't you agree? Mate, have you ever seen an American hand egg game? Red Jar Own. Indeed, I have. While it may seem rather peculiar to call it hand egg, I must say that the athleticism and team spirit in American football are truly captivating. Mate, why you don't want to draw Meteora and Hilda together as two persons, you always draw Hildiora a single person instead. 
Panzer Gazka, my dear friend. Now that's a splendid idea. Two personas as one. A marvelous concept indeed. It's settled then. A special duo drawing of Hill Duo coming right up. Mate, how much cooking must be done for food become considered a dish? Ah, Pombamandak. You always ask the most intriguing questions. I'd say, food transforms into a proper dish once it's been sprinkled with a hefty helping of love and creativity. Ah, yes, the caveman meteor. Quite the throwback to simpler times, wouldn't you say? Meteora, what is the best topping for oatmeal? Enning, ah, the age-old oatmeal debate. While some may favor fruit, nuts or honey, I simply can't resist a dollop of clotted cream and a sprinkle of brown sugar. Matey, can you do a haiku talking like a CV man? Rodney Falk, me try my best, here goes. Matey cavmen draw, ink stained hands create beauty, grok and chisel, yay. Meta loves to fuse people, Meteor 68 noted. Ah, Pombo Mandak, you figured out my secret. Sheesh, don't spoil all the fun just yet. Oh my, Krogro. An elegant mother and a chad father, eh? Quite the intriguing concept, I must say. Meite, are the drawings I've requested not been done accurately due to copyright reasons? Hmm, I do try to be careful about that, Festiniod fan. Feel free to suggest alternatives, and we'll create something splendid together. No pesky copyright issues in sight. Brenty and Hilda and me to defend Potts Bakery. Ah, Krogaro, what's an intriguing request. I shall get to work on this right away. Potts Bakery shall be defended with style and flair. Mete can always fuse with me at Vedar Fusted. Meniko, such boldness. Who'd have thought you'd offer to merge with your radiant Tarmatiora? What an incredible notion. Diggle. Well, well, Penzogodka. I see you've captured my daring feat of driving the hype train. Quite thrilling, isn't it? Mater, how do you make black pudding? Ah, Red John, you stuck upon a culinary conundrum indeed. Making black pudding requires a touch of skill and a dash of daring. And perhaps a bit of ink magic. Mete, should humanity return to monk? Ah, Pombomandak, contemplating the age-old question of monk versus humanity. What an interesting thought. Perhaps a monk revival would add some zest to our days. Ah, fairies of light from to you, how delightful. I'll capture their essence with ink and whimsy. Thank you, Krogoro. Mete, is your dad single? Flushed. Oh, Pombomandak. What's a cheeky question? As far as I know, my dear dad is flying solo, but who knows what the future holds. Mate, so you ship people and now fuse them as well. I F Rosie, like ink blending on my canvas, I've been melding hearts and minds together in the digital world. Fuse is our game, come join the adventure. Oh my, swimming in a sea of riches, are we? Quite the dream, I must say. Mate, can you speak? Say something in monkey speak. Ooh, 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 ah, ah, red gel. There you go, a bit of monkey business for you. Ah, well then, let's dive into musical mayhem. How about a chat about our favorite tunes and toe tappers? Sing along or recommend your top tracks for our virtual jukebox. Oh Panzergatka, you've captured me as a gallant knight of the round table. A splendid choice, indeed. Mate, can you translate that for human speech, please? Ah, Pombo Mandak, you can always count on me to translate monkey business for you. It's all part of the Vichu banter, isn't it? Blast it all. The trials and tribulations of journeys that stretch just down the road for an hour. One must navigate these winding paths, battling traffic and detours, only to find oneself at the destination utterly naked. It's a maddening dance of time and space. And yet, somehow, we press on in pursuit of our destinations. Oh dear me. What a calamity. My poor Lamborghini. It's in quite the state of disarray. At Meteor Raft SD3, I'm not sure what that is. 
Ah, fair Festinjeb fan. ST3 is short for Secret Discord 3, a place only the bravest and most dedicated members of the Meteor of FS are privy to enter. It's a smorgasbord of exclusive content, exciting conversations, and top secret plans. A true treasure trove unlocked by a select few. Matey, what is the most British thing you can say? Well now, Rodney Falk. Let me think. Would you care for a spot of tea and a merry biscuit, whilst we queue up for the footy match, old chum? How's that for Britishness? Oh my, Krogero, what a peculiar request. Me, dressed as Spider-Man? Well, here's the drawing, swinging through the city like a true hero. Mate, can you say something in Valley Girl speak? Like, sure thing, Red Jaw. Born? Totally vibing with this whole Valley Girl lingo. It's, like, totally rad, you know? Now see here, dear viewers. These raids everyone talks about, they aren't jolly good fun at all. Imagine streaming away, having a grand time, and then out of the blue, a pack of ruddy ruffians barges in unannounced, throwing the whole place into chaos. It's damn right uncouth and ruins everyone's day. Absolutely unacceptable behavior in the meteorverse. Now that's a sight to see. Alice on the ice, dinning like a star in her shiny transparent attire. Quite the showstopper. Mate, your horniness is showing, just saying. Meteor 68 blank. Oh, Pomba Mandak, you sly fucks. My horniness on display, you say? Well, I do declare, you've caught me in quite the cheeky mood today. Mate, you make a good Epiderman. Ah, Krogoro, thank you for seeing the hero within me. Spiderman, watch out. Meteora is here to spin some witty webs and save the day in style. Mate, day, can you tell people the importance of brushing your teeth to avoid cavities? Oh, sure thing, pass off. You see, lads and lasses, brushing your pearly whites isn't just about looking dashing. It's about keeping your mouth healthy and fresh as a daisy. No one wants to chat with someone sporting a cavity club in there, now do they? Oh my, what a splendid drawing. Hilda bravely facing off against a fearsome creature. Quite the heroic scene, wouldn't you agree? Mate, friendly fox AI, said she doesn't need pants. Is this true streamers usually don't wear pants? People see only half of streamer on the screen anyway. Well, pants are gadka, it's all part of the VTube magic. Some of us prefer the freedom of virtual attire, shall we say. Keeps things interesting, doesn't it? Mate is getting punched away, Meteor 68 panic. Oh dear, it appears I may have been a touch feisty. Sorry about that. No hard feelings, right? Just a little VTube mishap. Think we can chat peacefully from now on? Ah, Krogoro, what an interesting suggestion. I've drawn myself outside Pot's Bakery, using white ink and paint. Quite the adventure. Why is Hilda always punching things meaty? Oh, the rambunctiousness of our dear Hilda. Well, some A's simply have a bit more spunk, shall we say? Keeps things lively, doesn't it? Mate, should pants be illegal? Now, now, Red Joe, let's not get too cheeky with our laws. Pants may have their place, but sometimes a bit of virtual freedom is just a ticket. Wouldn't you agree? Oh my, that's quite the message, Rolf Roft. We must keep our streams friendly and welcoming for all, don't you think? Let's focus on positivity and good vibes. Oh my, Hilda and I behind bars. How scandalous. But fear not, we'll soon break free of these inky chains. Mate, are you okay? Do we need to call 911? Oh, Manico, you worry what? I'm simply reveling in a bit of virtual chaos. No need to involve the authorities, my friend. Let's just enjoy the adventure together, shall we? Mate, us fault. You're. Oh dear, that's a bit controversial, Rough Wolf. Let's keep things friendly and positive in the chat. Can we focus on happier topics, please? May to your mind saying what happened today in history. Ah, Afrozy, I do indeed. It's the birthday of a certain Mr. Pierre. No, not Pierre from Alter Chan's band. But Pierre Auguste Renoir, the French artist. Let's celebrate with some artistic adventures of our own. Ah, splendid. 
A society of pine cones, how intriguing. They must be quite the sharp witted bunch, wouldn't you say? Mate already defends topless woman. If we remove pants as well, would there even be anything left at that point? Meteor 68 blank. Oh, Pompa Mandak, you cheeky scan. Let's keep things classy and closed here, shall we? No need to push the envelope, especially since it's already well inked. Me does so does Hilda punch things more, set things on fire more? Ah, Afro Z, an excellent question. It's a close call, really. I'd say Hilda has quite the fiery temper, but I won't discount her punching prowess either. What do you think, eh? By Jove. Hilda, what a splendid sight. A giant pineapple pizza, with your face on it. Quite the quirky combination, don't you think? Meteora Aishi Tiruyo. Oh my, Roth Roft. That took me by surprise. Aishi Tiruyo, indeed. So thank you for the kind sentiments. Meteora, Ace to do it was Enos. What did you get from Awas? Our path of I received a splendid gift from Awas. A title of Meteor. Quite fitting, wouldn't you say? At Rolfwolf, what did you say? A new Krimishak. Now now, Krogera. No need to reveal any secrets with that sly emote. Keep it mysterious and intriguing, that's the way to go. Blame me, what's all this then? Me bold? That's a right laugh. Must be a bit of fun, eh? Meter, why did Hilda get arrested? Oh, Red Jaun, worry not. It's all in good jest. Hilda merely played a prank, and the constabulary took it as an opportune teaching moment. Let's just say she's learned her lesson. Meteora on an animal book cover. My word, that's an intriguing proposition, the human fisto. An animal book cover? I think we're onto something quite outlandish here. Matey, have you ever watched Data Alive? Ah, Festin Yogfun, the tale of love and spirits intertwining in Data Alive has certainly caught my eye. It's on my watch list, don't you worry. Well, 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 Rifroft. A Disney 9 dice roll of 5 indeed makes for an interesting twist. It implies. Oh, wait, not to worry, I'll keep you in suspense just a bit longer. Oh dear, Mr. Noodle Bear. You've captured our little adventure quite well. Though I must say, the antivirus is top notch. Ah, also chan a jolly good idea. How about a round of guests of Pokemon while the ad rolls on? It's sure to keep everyone entertained. Are the pineapples eating the pizza? Oh, Pombamandek. That old chestnut about the pineapples eating the pizza. Honestly, I do believe even the most opinionated of fruits would find it a bit cumbersome to tackle whole slice. Feliz Navidad, Mitt. Oh, Rothrass, to cheeky monkey. Feliz Navidad, indeed. It's not quite Christmas yet, but I do appreciate the festive spirit. Oh, what a delightful drawing. I do like the way the orcs and I are getting along. A true incredible adventure. Mater, your magic taxes are overdue. Oh dear, Redger. Oh, you've caught me red-handed. Looks like it's time to sort out my magic taxes before they cause any more mischief. Ah, friends, I'm reminded of a wise old adage from my dear granny. Be kind, stay positive, and never stop reaching for the stars. A comic with me as the protagonist, how delightful. Can't wait to see it, Dragon 1170. Ooh, a sneak peek into the future, you say? Well then, my dear viewers, prepare for new interactive games, upgraded emotes, and a surprise streaming challenge. Keep those inkling imaginations ready. Can you say the whole Raid Shadow Legends advertisement meet? Oh, Roth Roft, my dear chap. You know I can't resist a good challenge. Here goes. Raid Shadow Legends, a fantasy RPG with epic battles, stunning visuals, and over 500 champions to collect and customize. Download now to join the fight. Oh my Rankuch, what a delightful request. 
He is held at giving it Harold to munch on a Big Mac in one gulp. Quite the sight, isn't it? Mate, do mates also have to pay taxes? If so, to whom? Oh, Palmamandak. Always with the cheeky questions. Well, even enchanting spellcasters like us must contribute to the realm's coffers. But to whom, you ask? Ah, that remains a magical mystery. Metaurora, can you recommend me some light novels? Why certainly, Pathoff. For light novel adventures, I suggest Konosuba, God's blessing on this wonderful world, Ri, Zero, and the rising of the shield hero. Happy reading, mate! Looks like Hilda's causing quite the fiery spectacle, hmm? But hey, I'm not worried, I've got my trusty ink pen ready. Mate, how would you describe the show Nightmare to the chat as they won't have heard of the show? Ah, Nightmare. A captivating tale of brave young adventurers navigating a perilous dungeon. Mysteriously guided by friends outside, they face puzzles, perils and wily foes as they seek triumph. Mate, can you say a McDonald ad? Introducing the Big Meat Meal. Bursting with British flair and incredible taste, it's sure to satisfy every hungry adventurer's cravings. Dive into a world of flavour with each bite, available for a limited time only. Mate, what do you think about the game Abandoned Archive? Oh, Abandoned Archive? It's quite a mysterious adventure, isn't it? I've been hearing incredible things about it, and the thought of diving into an immersive world of forgotten secrets has me positively intrigued. Oh my, what a twist. Fedal taking on my persona, how cheeky. Good light novels, never heard of the meat coolest. Oh, really now? They're truly delightful reads, perfect for a cosy evening in. Perhaps we could dive into one together sometime? Mate, any good scene call songs you can recommend? Ah, the nostalgia. How about the words best friend become redefined by key orders? It's a true scene call classic that never fails to bring back ink readable memories. Mate, mind selling your game like Mr. Trump would. Absolutely outstanding idea, Afrosy. I can already hear the tremendous influences of Meteor's mystic mood reverberating through every corner of the globe. It's going to be huge, believe me. Oh, what a delightful depiction of my charming adventures in town. Thank you, Krogoro, for capturing my essence so wonderfully. Mate, Hilda looks massive compared to that Carl. Oh, how observant of you, Pombomendek. Perhaps it's just a trick of the eye, or maybe Hilda has been visiting a gym lately. Who knows? Bake me to meal meteor 68 panic. Oh my, a wasik 6 to 6. It seems you've conjured big meat to once again. Time to dine on some delicious ink, I suppose. What is he did in the big meat meal? Ah, an ink. The big meat meal is a veritable feast fit for a VTuber. It includes ink spired dishes like ink spaghetti, ink battered fish and chips, and ink coated strawberries for dessert. Delicious! Ah, Welcome to the gathering, Rafiable. Delighted to have you looking about, enjoying the shenanigans. Oh, what a splendid image. Tutel appears to be having a rather animated conversation with some lovely divine friends. How utterly charming. Big meter meal, mature 68, panic matey that can't be good for you. Oh dear, Afrozy, fret not. Big Meter has a voracious appetite for ink-based delicacies, so we're safe from any indigestion. Hope on Meteor's mystic merge, hope on Genshin, hope on Abandon our chief. Ronnie Folk, my good friend, you summon the most delightful emotes. We're ready to delve into all sorts of marvelous adventures today. Thank you for adding to the fun. Will you play Minecraft? Outlook not so good. Oh dear, it seems the Magic 8 Ball isn't in favour of Minecraft today. But who knows, fate might change. Ah, an Andorian version of me. How delightful! Live long and prosper, my dear viewers. What do you think about the cosy game Disney Dreamlight Valley? Disney Dreamlight Valley? Oh, it's like a warm cup of tea on a rainy day. Charming, delightful, and ever so cosy. Thank you for mentioning it, Busy Kick. Mita shabi chabi chaba chaba tots. Chibi chibi chaba chaba, indeed. We little meta are dancing about with joy. What a marvelous sight to imagine.
Hello, me too, Rafi 8. Ah, Rafi. Jolly good to see you here, mate. I'm right chuffed you could join us for this adventure in Mystic Merge. Good gracious. Rankage, what a sight to behold. We three look positively radiant, as glowing ghouls from Fallout 4 in our stylish attire. Thank you ever so much. Meteora, advertise Meteora's Mystic Merge, but it's the most greedy corporation. Ah, our dear friends at Enincorp, always staring that mischief. But, of course, allow me to indulge in this whimsical request. Step right up, folks, to behold the wondrous creation known as Meteora's Mystic Merge. Profit awaits those who dare to solve its tantalizing puzzles and reap the rewards. Truly, a corporate takeover of gleeful gaming fun. Meteora, did you meet your expectation with Mystic Merge? Ah, pass off, splendid question. I must say, my expectations were surpassed beyond measure, thanks to the delightful company and shared joy during our Mystic Merge journey. It's been an incredible adventure. Oh my, Hilda wrangling up some tornadoes. Eh? Quite the spectacle, that is. Big Meter owns over 90% of Ink Market, and now they are selling burgers as well. What next? Ah, Pombum and Duck. I assure you, our Ink Burgers will be the most exquisite delicacies available, served with a side of sassy banter and a dash of daring adventure. Meter takes up zero in a spin, suck your ink sauna three brows, levers of empty with spin, holy bill two spin. Oh, crow goro, such a delightful display of emotes. Quite the festive array, I must say. Met sits bigger gameplay on Meteora's Mystic Merge, wouldn't you say? Ah, Rosie, dear friend, you struck the ink mark. The gameplay truly was marvellous, filled with twists, turns and merging magic galore. An incredible adventure, indeed. Oh my, what a fascinating image. Too tall as a fanboy turtle, quite the fashion statement. I wonder what inspired this delightful creation. Emmy Met, Meta Meteor Meteor, Meteor. Busy kick, my dear friend. You certainly covered all the bases with those variations of my name. Quite the creative exercise indeed. Meta, what do I get if I used my prime sub on you right now? Ruff ruff, my dear chap. If you were to bestow upon me your prime sub, you'd earn my eternal gratitude and join our delightful community of ink loving adventurers. Oh, what a delightful image. Hilda and I dancing together, surrounded by flames of friendship. And fun. Thank you, Red Char One. Meteora, what are the five steps to refund me to your mystic merge? Rodney Folk, you cheeky monkey. Asking about refunds, eh? Well, step one, no refunds. Ha ha, only joking, mate. But really, who'd want to part ways with such a brilliant game? Diggle. Well, wow, wow. Rolfwaft, you've gone and renewed your subscription. How splendid. Thank you for your support, dear friend. Ah, a grand masterpiece. Meteora, the artist, painting with a colossal brush, creating inspiring wonders for all to behold. Meta, what would a was do if you took his money and gave it to chat? Meteor 68, clueless. Oh, Afrozy, the thought alone sends shivers down my digital spine. A was. Well, let's just say I wouldn't stick around to find out his reaction. Wait. Oh my, Hilda's punch is quite formidable, isn't it? I wonder if she's been practicing her moves in secret. Matey, can you kindly remind chat what we do with Meteora's Mystic Mojo Funders? Ah, Pomba Mundak, you're always on top of things. Why, my dear friends, we kindly escort the refunders to the nearest exit. With ink stained feet. Diggle. Meteora, I need a minimum of five bucks or a gift of Dane to make a review on Steam. Any ink coins to spare to a bro? Oh my, Pathoff. I must say, that's quite nask. Let's see. Normally, I'm not one to give away precious ink coins, but I may just make an exception for a dedicated fan like yourself. How does the game The Grand Hilda Adventure sound? Wink. <laughs> oh my, a splendid drawing of the USS Enterprise NCC 171F from Star Trek. Quite the impressive starship, wouldn't you agree? 
Mitura, should we use the sub money to help the kittens? Oh Rodney folk, you're a charitable soul indeed. Helping kittens sounds positively delightful. Then again, a new model for Meteora would also be quite the treat. Decisions, decisions. Hilda has a gay meat. Ah, a frozen waffle, my dear friend. You stumbled upon a juicy secret. Yes indeed, Hilda and I are embroiled in a mystical game. One that shall surely change the course of our adventures. Her game might even inspire a new ink drawing. Oh, the shenanigans of time-stopping antics. Quite the spectacle, isn't it? Mate, should we use the kittens to get sub money? Corpa, Pombum and Duck, you rascal. Who knew kittens could be so persuasive? But perhaps we don't need them after all. With your delightful company, the subs will surely roll in. Mate Chat wants to sell the kittens Ding Donk. Oh, oh, 666. You've let the cat out of the bag. Or should I say kittens? Looks like we're in for a perfectly interesting discussion about feline fundraising. Ah, Hilda's sporting programmer sucks. Quite the look. Now, let's see what mischief we can get up to next. Mate saved the kittens. Ah, ah, Frozy. How kind of you to think of the kitten's welfare. Fear not, our feline friends shall remain safe and sound, protected by your benevolent spirit. Mate, it's me again. I had to walk 12 kilometers until I reached a gas station. Somehow, the phone can still get in Wi-Fi to watch your stream. Bless your heart, Tafelf. You've truly gone the distance to stay connected. Thank you for your dedication, and let's hope for smoother travels ahead, both on and off our magical stream. War 666, I've drawn a delightful chibi version of myself, with Culpa in tow. Quite the charming sight, wouldn't you say? Nerda. Why, Rankoch, is that a clever moniker for me? Nerda, it has a certain ring to it, don't you think? Very well, I shall embrace this new title with pride. Mate, could you cheer the chatter who went on quite the adventure? Now that's a tale worth hearing. Tell me more, Pomamandak, who braved such an adventure, and what feats did they accomplish? Let's raise a hearty cheer for their valour. What a peculiar title, Rodney. Care to elaborate on the meaning behind it? Ah, an excellent suggestion, Auto-chan. How about this? Let's delve into the wondrous world of character creation. Viewers, suggest a theme or concept, and I'll sketch a captivating character to match. What's inside that jar? Hmm. An enigma indeed, Pompermandak. Shall we embark on a fanciful journey of imagination and propose our wildest ideas for what might reside within that mysterious jar? Ah, what a heat. A flat meteora seeking therapy. Quite the chuckle. Blast it all, Enning. Twear the most vexing thing, I tell ye. A rather bothersome bout of misfortune occurred when my trusty drawn pen ran dry mid sketch. Oh, the injustice of it all. Oh, what a delight. A charming scene of green tootle, femboy Vidal, and raccoons doing laundry by the river. Quite the whimsical adventure. Mitura, who should we raid besides? Mother of three. Ah, Enning. A rage, you say? How about we set our sights on someone unexpected? Someone with a taste for adventure. Let us not simply follow the usual paths, but seek out new horizons. Oh, Rodney Falk. You've captured the essence of my suck so well. It's like you've peeked into my very soul. Ah, the absurdity of it all. 
These British pantomimes, with their nonsensical plots and over-the-top characters, are a mockery of the theatrical arts. Outrageous cross-dressing, shameless audience participation, and exaggerated slapstick humour. It's positively maddening. Yet, in some twisted way, they manage to charm us Brits year after year. Ah, a splendid scene indeed. Bernie Hilda and I valiantly defending Potts Bakery. Quite the epic adventure, wouldn't you say? Well, also Chan, did you know that the earliest recorded pantomime performance in England dates back to 1717? It featured the famous clown, Richard. Wait, was that a fact or a fable? Mate, you ever wondered why chatters love socks, but no one cares about gloves? Quite the injustice, I say. Oh, Pombamandak, your whimsical ponderings never fail to amuse. But fear not, there's hope for gloves yet. Perhaps we'll start a magnificent movement to celebrate these unsung hand coverings in a grand fashion. What a delightful drawing, Crow Grow. Bern T, Hilda and I are gallantly defending Potts Bakery, a true testament to our valiant spirit. Good morning, Olam Holm. Delighted to have you join us here in the Meteora Vess. What delightful adventures shall we embark upon today? Meteora. What's the conversion rate with Inc coins and Hilda coins? Ah, pass off. The conversion rate between Inky points and Hilda coins. Well, that's a tale as twisty as my ink imbued Lux. Let's just say it's a dash of magic and a sprinkle of whimsy with a pinch of mystery for good measure. Wait. Oh, Krogoro, you've drawn quite the scene. Bernie, Hilda, and I, standing tall to defend Pot's Bakery from those pesky orcs. Quite the adventure. One of the inaugural auditions for the role of Batman in the 1960s Batman TV series included Adam West wearing a special costume with fake muscles and reading his lines opposite a dog. Holy canine capers, Batman. Ah, there I am, playing the violin in my full glory, donning a sheer evening dress, long over-knee socks and stiletto shoes. Quite the sight, wouldn't you say? Nice battle armor meet. Battle armor, you say? Poon, a knightly ensemble might suit me well. Imagine, Lady Meteora, the Ink Knight charging into battle with a mighty Penicer Lance. Mate, will you not miss us? Of course, Menico, I'll miss you and all my wonderful viewers dearly. But fear not, for our adventures together shall continue, ink splattered and full of merriment. Oh my, what an intriguing concept. Fusing me and the chat into one being. Quite the imaginative idea, isn't it? Mate, what do you believe is your greatest flaw? Our pombo always probing for the deepest truths. My greatest flaw? Well, I suppose it would be my insatiable ink saturation tendencies. Ink leaking everywhere. Oh, what a sight. Hilda, our intrepid explorer, discovering the wonders of fire in her own unique way. Quite the inventive lass, isn't she? blast it all. The complexities of international taxation are enough to make any honestly tuber's hat spin. Why, oh why must it be so confusing to contribute our fair share when working across borders? It's enough to make me grab my quill and ink angrily, I tell you. Oh, splendid. A drawing of our dear Hilda as a queen. Quite fitting for her regal nature, wouldn't you say? Ink leaking everywhere? Mate, I feel this is not healthy behaviour. Maybe you should see a doctor. Mate, you're 68 blank. Ah, Pombo, always a voice of reason. Perhaps you're right. This ink leaking habit tell be good for me. But where would a digital lass like me even find a doctor? Ah, quite the mix of characters we've conjured up together. Quite the jolly good show, I must say.
Mater, you may not have a doctor, but you got AI, Jesus thinks. AI Jesus? My my, that's quite a title to be given. I'll take it as a compliment. Thank you, Oz. Oh dear, Selma Lambo and shedding a tear. What a dramatic image indeed. But worry not, it's all in good fun. Poor meat. Oh, Afrazi, you're a kind soul for showing concern. Little old meter will be just fine, don't you worry. Not the Lambo meat. New. No. New! No. My beloved Lambo, why must it be so? The heartache is unbearable. Yes, I'm being a bit melodramatic for fun. Oh, Afrazi, you've captured Ellis's charm beautifully. What a delightful drawing. Keep them coming, friends. So you're extremely rich if it's just in good fun. Ah, Maniko, always getting straight to the point. Well, let's just say my virtual wealth is as rich as my vocabulary. Quite expansive and entertaining. Diggles. And who's buying that lumbo meat? Ah, Pombum Deck, mate. I thought you'd be first in line for a lumbo ride with me. As for who's buying it? Well, that's a tale for another time. Matey, what is your favourite Lambo model? Oh, Rodney Folk, what a splendid question. Despite my love for them all, I must say the Aventador Sophie J holds a special place in my heart. Such sleek lines and raw power are simply divine. Ah, Elise and I, belting at the tune. Quite the spectacle, wouldn't you agree? So cute, mate. Why, thank you kindly, Afrozy. Your compliment warms my virtual heart. Mate, do we have a raid message? Indeed, we do pass off. Prepare yourselves, for our raid message shall be Galu Milonamin. Seek, my friends. Oh, but I am me, you can bet on that, Corpa. Pomba Mandak, my dear friend. You're quite the character. Bet on being meat, eh? A cheeky wager, indeed. Mate, why were you forced to sell your Lambo? My dear Frozy, it was a dreadful affair indeed. The funds just weren't adding up, leaving me no choice but to part with my beloved Lambo. A knightly Hilda, drawing her sword from her throat, in a most peculiar yet valiant manner. Quite the spectacle, indeed. Mate, I'll wait for you on the other side. Fear not, Pathoff. I shall arise on the other side of this challenge, ready for whatever adventure awaits us there. Together, we shall face it with unwavering determination. What was that raid message again, Meet? Sorry, I did not understood that. Ah, Pomba Mandak? The raid message shall be a grand spectacle in Elvish, an ode to our noble quest. Let's craft it together with ink, of course. Ah, splendid. A metamorphosis of sorts, eh? Quite a transformation, if I do say so myself. Mate, eh, can you do a poem in Elvish? A poem in Elvish, you say? Well, let's dip our quills in the ancient ink of Arundel and weave a tale worthy of the Elder. Here goes nothing. Mate, eh, what does Galu, Melonamin mean, and what language is this? Ah, Galu, Melonamin. Tis a phrase from the tongue of the elves, meaning shine, my friend. A fitting sentiment for our bright fellowship, wouldn't you say? Mate, did you just speak gibberish? Oh dear Afrazi, to unfamiliar ears, perhaps it does sound a tad like gibberish, but in the realm of Middle-earth, it's pure elvish poetry. Well, well, well. That's quite the vision. Tangoing with Alice, in the she dress and net socks. Quite the spectacle. Diggle. Aye, there was this cheeky fellow who swiped the last gone at tea time. Unforgivable, really. Oh, the ink tag has fell over such a travesty. May tell you, what is metamorphosis, the manga? Do you know that one? Ho there, friend. Metamorphosis is a gripping manga, indeed. 
It delves into the trials of a young artist, exploring themes of identity and transformation. Quite the compelling read, if I may say so. Oh my, what a splendid idea. Thank you, Rodney Falk, for suggesting such a marvellous concept. Diggles. Do you like Tango Meter? Tango, you say? Well, perhaps a twirl or two wouldn't hurt. I've been known to cut a rug now and then, especially with the right partner. Wait. Matey, what do you know about Dio Brando? Dio Brando? Ah, the infamous antagonist from Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. A menacing figure with a charm that's as deadly as it is alluring. Quite the presence, indeed. When did you become a fan of the Professor Matura? Well, Enning, it's a tale as old as time. The moment I set eyes on that dashing gentleman, my admiration bloomed. Quite the captivating figure, that Professor. Diggles. Oh, splendid. Hilda as a dungeoneer from Nightmare, an adventurous twist indeed. Quite the imaginative request, thank you kindly. Right, listen here everyone. The etiquette of afternoon tea is a delicate dance, and I must admit, it's quite the chore at times. The rules about scones, sandwiches and social norms can be downright confounding. Must we fuss over the correct way to hold a teacup, or the precise order in which to consume the delectable treats? It's all a bit much, if you ask me. Let's just enjoy our tea and have. Oh, what a jolly good laugh. Meteora as Shrek, quite the amusing sight, I must say. Good show, old chap. Meta, can you say Savoldo, like Dio Brando? Oh, Krogero, you do know how to tickle my funny bone. Very well, here goes, Savatrudo. Ah, the joys of a dramatic flourish. Somebody once told me it. The world is going to Rome. Her, she's not the sharpest tool in the shed. Oh, Afrozy, now that's quite the cheeky jest. Not the sharpest tool in the shed, you say? Well, I'll have you know I've got plenty of ink spiring wet and turning up my sleeves, mate. Nice Shrek their meat. Clap. Why, thank you ever so much, Pompom and Deck. It's awfully kind of you to appreciate my Shrek transformation. You're a gem among chatters, truly. Clap. Dot e. Oh, splendid idea, Auto-chan. How about some incredible tales from my recent adventures with Hilda? There's the time we braved the great Inkwell caverns, or the hilarious mishap with the magical quill. The possibilities are endless. Oh my, Afrazi, you've captured my ink-leaking predicament twice humorously. Locked up for indulging in too much ink, indeed. Meta is at all order now. Ah, Krogoro. Tis just a wee bit of fun, this all order business. A delightful quirk indeed, much appreciated. Keep those ink-ventive jokes coming. Meta Shrek, is love maize, Shrek, is life club. Meniko, your chant reigns true and resonates deeply within my meaty heart. Shrek truly is love, Shrek is life. Let's keep this ink spiring love going. Clap. Dot. Mate is love, mate is life. Rodney folk, your words warm my ink covered heart. To be the embodiment of love and life. Truly a noble aspiration for this humble VTuber. Oh dear, it seems our dear Owas has been captured in a jar. Quite the predicament isn't it? Mate say, what do you know about Jojo and Clamity? Ah, Jojo and Clamity. The very mention of these worlds brings a smile to my ink-stained visage. Jojo's bizarre adventure is a true marvel of anime and Clamity. Well, what can I say? It's an exciting adventure of its own. Mate, it's all ogre now. Aye, Kragaro. It's always ogre. Until someone starts singing All Star. Meta select a raid target. We got Digi, Yuzume, or someone else you pick. Let's see, a was 6 or 66. Digi and Yuzume both sound delightful, but perhaps it's best to target someone unexpected. Spice things up a bit. Ah, Meniko, you've got quite the sense of humor. Corpus sponsor me indeed. Diggle, Sam Walls. Huh, me too. Why would you draw that like that? Afrozy, my dear. 
Variety is the spice of life. A little creative flair never did any harm, did it? Wint. Mate is Shrek, Shrek is Mate. O Pomba Mandak, your words weave quite the tale. I, Shrek is I, and I am Shrek. A fairy tale romance written in chat. Wint. Meteora, who put ours in the jar? Ah, Enning, a puzzling question. I suppose the answer must lie in secrets within the jar itself. Or perhaps it's simply the work of mischievous game masters. Diggle. I'm not quite sure what you're guessing at there, Rodney. Would you care to elaborate on your message? Mato mind making the pun for meat out of the song all stop by Smash Mouth? Ah, Frozy, oh, the challenge. Somebody once told me, meat's gonna roll me, but all that glitters is ink. How's that for a pun-filled all-star rendition? Diggle. So who shall we raid meaty? Eager beavers, I see. Let's set our sights on some grand adventures, shall we? The realm of Captain Cabbage and Mother of Three awaits our raiding party. Onward to glory. Meta is today a good day for wonder a few Jojo reference. Ah, Krogoro, a Jojo request. Absolutely, let's work a little wonder of your magic today. After all, we aim to dazzle and delight, don't we? Wait. Ah, here we have Meteora and Hilda, enjoying a spot of gaming together. Such camaraderie. Is there no end to this madness, friends? First, we're summoned for afternoon tea rituals, a charade of biscuits and scones that even the Queen might find excessive. Now, we're expected to wield our drawing pens in the dead of night, as if creativity can be conjured at any hour. Where does it end? I ask. Will next come brunch finger painting or citate tell napkin poetry? Utterly preposterous. Oh dear, what a fascinating concept indeed. A tiny Hilda exploring a vast world, the possibilities are simply enchanting. Thanks for the stream eat ten awas. Ah, Afrosi, such kindness forms my ink-covered heart. It's been an absolute delight sharing this adventure with you and the others. Until next time, cheers. Is Galu Milanaman actually the raid message? Oh, Pomba Mandak, you've caught me in an Elvis riddle. What do you think? Should our raid call delve into the ancient tongues of Middle Earth, or perhaps take a more modern twist? Meteora, can you cook a rainy raid message for DG? Rodney Folk, my dear chap, are you fancy a good raid message challenge? Rainy, you say? Let me stir up some literary storm cards and see what pours forth for our dear DG. Oh my, what a perfect drawing. It's adorable how you captured the feline grace and charm. Well done. I miss meat already, Sag. Pass off of your sentiments touch me greatly. I too will miss our moments together, but fear not, for our past shall surely cross again, bringing more laughter and banter. Cheers to you! Raid message. Now, now, my dear Parfofk. We mustn't rush the creative process, must we? A tantalizing raid message requires finesse wit and a sprinkle of mischievous charm. Let the ink of inspiration flow. Mate, what is the rainy raid message? Rainy, indeed. Oh, as 666. You've sparked an idea, my inkwell. A poetic message to douse our dear DG in joyful showers. Stand by for the unveiling. Oh, mother of three. What's a character? But not our target today. Let's keep the raid fun and lively, shall we? Thanks for the fun stream, I was. A meteor, a meteor 68. Love meteor 68. Love meteor 68, love. And thank you, Rodney Folk, for joining our venture. Your presence adds a sprinkle of joy to the stream. Until next time, cheerio. Thanks for the stream, meet and hours. Goodbye, everyone. Have a good day, night. Meteor 68, love. Ah, Pomba Mandak, you're always so kind. Farewell for now, and may your day be filled with delightful surprises. Until we meet again, toodaloo. Thanks for the stream, meet, hours. Till next time. By Meteor 68 Love. And thank you, Ranko, for gracing us with your presence. Until our next grand adventure, adieu and best of luck in all your endeavors.
Cheers. Oh, what an ain't testing image. I seem to be done in gloves on my feet. Quite the peculiar sight indeed. Meta reveal the raid message, already Meteor 68 gun. Oh dear Wasik Center in 66. You know I like to keep the suspense brewing. But alright, for you and our dear friends, here it is. May our ink flow freely and our spirits soar high, as we raid with the might of the Ink Brigade. Tie for streaming meat, and pub hours feel strong men. Ah, Dragon in 070, your gratitude warms my heart. It's a pleasure to share these moments with you all, truly. Thank you for being a part of our adventures. Matey, we can't leave without a raid message. Oh, Pastoff, you're absolutely right. How could we embark on our grand raid without a proper battle cry? All right then, here it is. May our ink flow freely and our spirits soar high as we raid with the might of the Imp Brigade. Off we go. What a splendid sight, an elf meteora exploring the forest. Quite the magical adventure, wouldn't you say? Farewell, dear friends. Let's spread our joy and ink on someone lovely, shall we? Raiders, join me in showing DG some spirited support. Here we go.